Welcome back. Hope you've joined our new stream or the new link. And we are here at McLaren and the Suns come out. What a cracking day for round one. Great southern footy. Joining us in the commentary box is our very good friend in John Ferner from the McLaren Footy Club. Hey, mate. Good afternoon. Thanks for coming in. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. And uh, the sun's just come out at the end of that B-grade game. And um, I'm glad to be in here because it's pretty warm out there. <laughs> yeah, certainly has warmed up a little bit in the sun. And... Uh, Great to have you back for 2024 and committing to a few more games this year, which is fantastic for our team. And certainly uh, rising up there with the best uh, in country footy calling. We were very impressed last year and great to have you back, John. Tell us a bit about oh, down here in the neck of the woods, uh, what's happening around the clubs and how do you see the season sort of uh, panning out? Yeah, well, obviously McLaren have been the benchmark the last couple of years going back to back in the A grade and... Um, They've lost a few with retirees and a couple overseas and things like that, so they'll probably drop back, which opens up the door for my Ponga, who have been pretty unlucky in finals the last couple of years. So I know they've recruited heavily with a new player coach um, who's going to prove a big focal point up forward this year. So with my Ponga really up there, and I think the talk around the town is all around Victor Harbour, from what I hear. You know, Bryce Gibbs gone down there to join a couple of his South Adelaide or ex-South Adelaide teammates. So... I think uh, look out for Victor Harbour. They're going to be the, the big surprise packet this year. And um, obviously, Wollonga are always around the mark. And I think even the Creeks have recruited a few late as well. So a really good competition and nice and even. And hopefully, I think this year is uh, definitely a look at a uh, future finals game and, and definitely game of the round. It'll be great to watch. Yes, yeah, so I've heard a bit about uh, McLaren. We've got the coin toss coming up, which is the... Simply Shutters and Shades coin toss. Great to have them on board this season. And uh, as we uh, get the coin flipped there, and it uh, looks like it's uh, up in the air now. And the visitors have got the coin toss call. And I reckon uh, my Ponga won that, and they're kicking to the right of screen, thanks to Simply Shutters and Shades and the team there. And great to have support from them with our... New business, and of course, Fleurio Gin, a new business. Uh, sorry, not Fleurio Gin, Fleurio Milk, a new business back on board this season. Big thanks to the team there. So great to have some new sponsors. Round one really is an exciting season. Uh, get our guru there on the computer to put the umpires up in a moment. Uh, so you're tipping uh, Victor Harbour to uh, perhaps take your boys McLaren uh, for a one-two this season. Yeah, I think so. I think um, with <coughs> with Victor Harbour improving and uh, they were a finals team last year and the recruitment of Bryce Gibbs just brings so much experience to to a young group like Victor. So I think um, I think Victor, McLaren and Maiponga are probably the, the three standouts for this year and, um, you know, with the Reddens uh, leaving Wollonga. But you go through the, uh, through the McLaren team, they've still got stars all over the place and as do does um, my Ponga, you know, Jaden Hines, a young fella coming up. They've got the Kennedys, Mitch Wilkins, um, an ex-Norwood player um, and apparently was on the North Melbourne list back in the day as well. So uh, with Spinks as well running through there. So um, this is probably, I think, um, as good a look into finals, even though it's, you know, six months away. I think this is a, a very good look into, into what um, the season's going to take shape. Yeah, they've been the benchmark, haven't they, these two? And, of course, Victor coming into some form for the season. There's a look at the teams. Captain, of course, uh, Ellis, he has just been an absolute uh, warrior for your club. Vice-Captain Moyle and uh, the coach, Gianni Petrucci, just a real experienced campaigner. Great work there by our producer as we flip the coin. And there's a look at the My Ponga Selix side. And, of course, coached by uh, former Imperials player in Murray Bridge at the uh, River Murray, uh, Darren Shillaby, of course, been around a bit, hasn't he, up in the Barossa? Up in the Barossa, and yeah. Around a bit. And the captain there, Scotty Ogilvie. And, of course, uh, his uh, 300th game, I think, today, uh, along with... Um, oh, who's the other one? Uh, mate, it's just gone from my... Yeah, they've got a thoughts. couple out there. I had a chat with... Um with Shillibeer before the game, and he's um, he's very upbeat with how they look, and uh, a couple of young kids out there that have made their way through the junior ranks, and, and obviously with their senior stars, you look in the middle there, there, Kennedy with a shaved head looking as sharp as ever. They're, um, they're a really formidable outfit, and just been really unlucky come finals, losing um, a few finals by just the narrowest of margins, so look for them to, to really try and take that next step with... Um, the coach from last year making way for Shillabier, the player coach, and he's an imposing figure down there at full forward, and uh, McLaren will have their work cut out for sure. Should be a beauty. 
not too far from getting underway here. It's getting some names and numbers written out because uh, our team sheets haven't arrived. So we're going to be flying blind, which is okay for round one. We'd expect that. Umpire holds the ball aloft. Up they go. The tap there won by the Mudlarks. Ball goes to ground. Hard in they go on the pitch. Clearance by Ellis down towards the full forward area. One for the markers. A good mark taken by the Mudlarks on half back. Looks to switch it out to play now. He's got Kennedy out here. Should mark and does. Strong mark in front of Mitten. Mitten thought he might have had a bit of it, but didn't. Kennedy wheels around onto that favoured left foot up there looking for Shillabeer. Intercepted by the 100 gamer, though, in Sam Lurie. And it might be a holding free kick to McLaren as they look to uh, reset and prove forward again. Luke Mitten back this year from South Adelaide is a really class, silky mover, but they look to maybe turn it over. No, nah, Mitten's going to get it back here, drive it out wide, out to Hopkins. Hopkins, great pressure by well, uh, by my Ponga, but apparently it's downfield. So the other new recruit out there for McLaren, Sam Venning, a really strong overhead mark, strong hard-running player and... and um, should intercept the lot, as he has already today. From half-back, Mitten it is, goes down to half-forward, big pack sets, front and centre, good take, but a good tackle. Locked in there, stacks on the mill, will have a ball up on half-forward, right in front of that big, long club rooms. Up they go, tapped out the back, diving in there hard again. Players trying to send some physicality in this opening couple of minutes. And the umpire will ball it up again. Big news over here with one of the best defenders for McLaren and Kane Hopkins holding his shoulder going straight down to the rooms with the trainers around him. So it looks like he might have popped a shoulder early, which would just be devastating news for that. Already sort of... Well, it's not... not, not depleted back line, but they definitely need that experience in Kane Hopkins. And he looks like in a bit of pain and... We'll see how if he returns from the runes, whether it's just popped out or whether it's a, a serious injury, but doesn't look good. Yeah, not good first two minutes, round one. That's very bad luck. Down inside 50, chance here. Just overrun it. Both going in hard. Oh, it's a good physical tight tussle early. So just getting some names written out. With our sheet's not arriving. Tapped away. Ball finds a bit of clearance. And again, a strong tackle. Could have been held on to. The umpire says, play on. Players going in hard. It's tight in this kitchen. Another good, strong tackle. The umpire will ball it up. Right on half forward. We're going to make note of the big man for McLaren, Sam Lurie. His 100th game today. He's um, an absolute war horse in that middle. And um, probably, I think, he was unlucky not to get best in that grand final last year. He was outstanding and um, proving it again today already. Comes across from uh, Mitten, who got it over on this side of the oval. McLaren do the one-two. Good work. Good kick up towards inside 50. Good mark taken down there. And, oh, there's a bit of cramp there maybe or a calf muscle. That didn't look good. Umpire mm. blows his whistle. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully it, it's I'm just not, a, maybe a boot off. I'm not sure. Are but stingers on the, on the ankle or stinger on the... I think uh, it's just his boots come off there. his boot, is it? I think he's trying to get it on, but... Yeah, it looks like just to be trying to pull his boot on as kind of fit lines up here. Tough, tough kick over in that side. <coughs> Breeze usually pushes it across. We'll see how he looks. Actually, he might be in a... No, I think it is my Ponga in a world of pain there. It looks like he was reaching down towards that Achilles. Well, the umpire didn't wait. He's let him kick the ball and it's gone right across the face. This could be devastating news for both teams with big injuries early. So early in the season and just devastating for those players. They put in so much pre-season. It's, it's like an SANFL bordering AFL pre-season these days with when they start back in November, December. They just work so hard. It's just devastating to see talented players m get serious injuries so early on. Yeah, we're not sure if it's an ankle or a calf muscle or maybe an Achilles, but he definitely pulled up very quick. Not sure we got an MFL TV replay of that. Um, but, uh, yeah, he definitely pulled up very quick. Moving a little bit easier now, but, yeah, a couple of big losses early in this match as the Mudlarks kick it in and a good mark at the back. Looks like Kennedy. 
And scores around the grounds there. Victor Harbour, six. Leads Strath, one. Point. Is that Strath? Or, yeah, Strath. And away we go. Chance here for the Mudlarks. So driving inside, 50. Bouncing ball, well picked up. Keeps it inside. Oh, good vision. Sits it up for the running player who doesn't get a coin. Bounce this way, that away. Good tackle. Holding the ball, surely. Yes, good decision by the umpire. Is that, uh, they're lucky there, McLaren. It's just an errant kick going forward. And it looks to be a 50-metre penalty, a 25-metre penalty. Maybe a little bit of back chat or wasn't happy with the way the ball was given back. Releases the pressure from McLaren. As uh, Joel Vandeleur. Here's that replay, John, sorry, to, to the butt in there. Here's that injury. Yeah, there it is there, right there. Oh, yeah. Just, like something's popped, yeah. So great vision by our camera. Mm. And the MGA replay up to half forward. Looks like Kennedy might be paid the mark over there in front of the club rooms. Such a strong, smart player. That's in, in front of the really big imposing Cody Ellison and Kennedy is just strong. He knows where to put his body and, and really good overhead. Z drives up towards centre half forward looking for the captain in Shillabir. Punched away by Lockie Cam, the youngster playing, making a transition down to back lines as now the Mudlarks move it up towards their forward pocket. Bit of wrestling, bit of jostling. As now Vandeleur looks to clear out. May have got one late. Umpire let it go. Ma marks. Paid, ooh, paid a mark unless it might have been a free kick. I'm sure he paid. He's just balled it up. Okay. Played on. I'm not sure what happened there, but Kennedy with another possession as he slices and dices. Gets back onto that favoured left foot. A good centering ball might open it up, but it's a risky one here. A big collision there in the middle as it looks now. McLaren's clear it away. They've got a one on one down here, and Merritt is it. Can't quite pull it down. Looks to get back onto it. Now the Mudlarks get back in numbers. And probably a win there. One on one is what you want as a forward. The Mudlarks got back well to hold it up. Another good MGA replay. Big thanks to the MGA team. Off hands, runs of the goals. Hard work in this contest. Oh, the defensive work by both teams, outstanding. And the umpire will ball it up again. That was great play there by uh, Matt Merritt. So both coaches are really settling into a defensive game early, not giving them, what are we? Oh, I was just about to say, we haven't gone a goal, still haven't gone a goal, <laughs> seven and a half minutes in. So both uh, both teams just playing it out. It's played between the arcs at the moment, only a couple of entries per side each. So we'll see what happens over the next three quarters. That the players start tiring. They've done all this pre-season to work. The big defensive efforts come in the first quarter and it might open up as the game goes on. The Murray Valley Shed scoreboard saying one point to no score. Down into the middle, oh, good mark. Just sort of nearly fell into his hands. Read it well. Beautiful kick. Lace out to the full forward. Lovely leg. I was watching Shillabier kick in the warm-up before the game, and he's marked this pretty much just on 50, shoot away the players and goes, I'll take control of this and get the first major on the board. He'll have no problem at all with the distance. And I'd probably back him in from here. A class player, like you said, he's been around the leagues. Knows what good footy is as he lines up from just on 50. Beautiful drop of the footy and it goes through. My Ponga Alex get the first. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas, no job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial, from plans, footings to shed instalment, he can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray Land and out in the Mallee, from farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, colourbond sheds, cyclone rated sheds, with over 15 years experience, call Wayne today for a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417 852 032. Builder's Licence 243 895. Back in the centre, quick kick out of there by Kennedy and it falls into the arms. Beautifully done there of Heinze and he's got it right in scoring range. 
right in front. Yeah, this is a this is a kid that has big raps on him. Um, I was talking to the coach before the game, and uh, Jaden Hines. He played one game last year and pr- performed pretty well, and he's come back super strong. And I'd back him in to kick this from 45. It sets sail, likes it, arms up, and that is two in a row in quick succession as my Pongo break out early. There's only one thing better than a footy win. That's sitting back relaxing with a Florio gin. Small batch handcrafted gins using a combination of botanicals, just like my favourite, the Florio Sunset. Nothing beats it. Check out the new Florio gin distillery in Celador at 464 Fork Tree Road, Maiponga. How about your own gin with a personalised label for your special event or even a grand final win? Grab a Florio gin three-pack or the popular vanilla vodka. That'll keep you coming back. You can click and save at floriogin.com.au, distillery right to your door. Or call Shane, 0400 254 933. Florio Gin, seriously good gin. Back in the centre, the ball gets cleared. Kennedy had it. Series of handballs, good tackle there. In there was Lang. Oh, well done. They clear it out of there through Ma to full forward. Up they fly, off hands. Ball comes front and centre. Chance here for the Mudlarks. The McLaren clear it. Well done there by Finordi. But again, chopped off a battle of defences and the Mudlarks get it in the back pocket. Out here looking for Kennedy on Ellis. This will be a great contest, but Kennedy again. He has started this game on fire, wheels around and runs away from Ellis onto that left foot, looking for the coach, and he's got another one. The big Jukes of Shilly Beer comes out, and he must be really backing himself here. He's well outside 50, but we saw that kick before. He's just such strong hand, strong leg, and a confidence player, and... McLaren, yeah, okay, down back, he's going to get those opportunities, but they've really got to slow down that quick midfield of my Pongu, who have just lit it up in this last four or five minutes. Oh, gee, you could just about say Darren Grippo Shillaby, didn't he? Grab that like mm. it was 10 tonne of Grippo on the hands, and he lines up, but he's given it a big roost to the left, going for the distance, and in fact put it out on the full. So there you go, you're right, he can kick the distance, We've seen him at Imperials. We've seen him in the Barossa. Beautiful leg. It's great to see this kid back too. Ash Goodison, he copped a really, really serious injury in the finals last year um, against my Ponga, actually, and um, had a had a spleen, a sp- cut in his spleen, had broken ribs, had kidney problems, all sorts of stuff. But as just as we say that, they've snapped another one. And my Ponga well on top here. Was that Levi Proud? I think Jag won through, and it's getting away from McLaren. If it's time to add a little magic to your flooring and windows, our online catalogue is full of great ideas at great prices. There's magic in a Solomon's floor. Yes, great. And there's magic in a Solomon's store. If it's time to add a little magic to your windows, our Sultan's range of custom-made blinds, shutters, curtains and outdoor screens means there's something for every home. And that's why... There's magic in a Solomon's store. Back live, out of the centre, and the Mudlarks get the free kick. They drive it through. They're on fire to half forward. Couldn't quite take the mark. Oh, spinning out of there. Got one on the head for his troubles. Big fella down back there. That was Sir Laurie. Got a handball out to uh, Ellis, <laughs> who's uh, going this way and that way. Bit of acrobatic stuff. Good tackle. They cough it up again. The Mudlarks straight back in, but it's again chopped off. By McLaren, I think that might yeah, have been... Yeah, Goodison there. To Goodison, Goodison. Yeah, Goodison, yeah. He's, uh, they own the local brewery just around the corner. Very popular family, great sponsors. As he looks up towards the 100th man in in Laurie, but taken away inside to Lockie Matthews. Burn switches around, looks inside towards Muff. Muff now gets another hands out. The pressure by... Well, they've called a sling tackle there. Muff has a laugh and... Runs back and looks towards putting McLaren back into attack. Chips out wide. Mitten here. He's got some space. He'll take that space. A quick fleeted player. Chips it up. Looking for Cody Ellison. But it's chipped off again. Scott Ogilvy this time now for McLaren. And they're just repelling everything. Good sportsmanship there by Wilkins too before. Just maybe apologising I think to Ellis. Bit happening here. Yeah, there is a bit happening. They're getting under the skin of McLaren, and Lockie Matthews gives away a downfield free kick. 
looked very unlike McLaren to start this game. Bit of ill discipline. They'd want to um, coach Petrucci. will give him a rev up at half time and at quarter time, sorry, and we'll see what happens. But at the moment, my Ponga with all the running. Great work there by uh, was that Randy? Just put his foot on him and stopped him jumping. Good hands out of there. That was Fenorti. It's a fast pace. Quick handball out of there by Kempster. They drive it back in the mud larks, but it's all McLaren and the mark taken on the last line there by Lockie Cam. Short. Lockie, Lockie Cam has played that they were has played predominantly up forward with his height and his big jukes. And Coach Gianni has said that they want to transition him down to a key defender because McLaren quite often have locked, lacked that that height down there. So Well that was Mitten to Venning. Back to Mitten. So not a lot gained out of that. Mitten no. had it about five metres behind him. He's got it back. I do like this. I think McLaren just need to slow the pace of the game down a bit. My Ponga are taking it on and running hard, as we see again. If McLaren can just grab some ascendancy and slow the game down a bit, I think it might play a bit more into their hands. We get a goal on the board too, mm. just to give him a bit of confidence. Ball's out of bounds on the club room side. 17 points of difference. Approaching the 16-minute mark around the ground, Strath 10 lead, Victor Hubber 6 in the match there. As uh, they go down the wing, good mark right over there. Just can't get his name. Is that John? Uh, looked like kind of fit, I think. Just fit. bombs away down in the... Wouldn't want to be a forward marking that one as now my Pongo looked to clean away, but it's cleaned up here. McLaren out towards Tom Fennedy. He now looks to pass, and it is a beautiful entry there finally, and Matt Merritt will go back and hopefully put the first one on for McLaren, which boy, they desperately need. Boy from the southeast found a bit of space, and he can go back and line up 45-degree angle. Played a great grand final last year. Matt Merritt kicked about three or four goals in the uh, second half to, to seal the victory in. Seems a long time ago now, looking goalless on the scoreboard. One of our new innovations to our coverage this year, the shrink screen. As the big sponsor, Flurio Gin, gets the first one on. And that is a goal for McLaren. They get there first. Thinking Insurance, an MGA insurance group broker, can save you time, money and stress. Whether it's business, farm, crop, professional or private insurance, MGA provides advice and assistance to make sure you're properly protected. And when claims arise, MGA works for you to ensure that you get your full entitlement. Your local MGA insurance group broker is a specialist in insurance and risk management. Give them a call today and put MGA to work for you. Contact John, MGA Flurio, 0439 886 Double three one. Back in the middle. Both <laughs> Ruckman probably missed it. It bounces. They get the clearance of Mudlarks to half forward and a good mark. Well read there by yeah, the 12 of Spinks. Centering kick, but well chopped off by Holbertson. Short kick in and finds a teammate. Matthews coughed up. The umpire says play on. In hard there. Well done by Spinks again. Lines up for goal there is Kelly. Bounces and eventually punch through. Thought it was going to be one of those Shane Warne bounces for a second. And a minor score on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. Little Reggie Moyle doing the kick out duties from McLaren. Chips out wide. He's got a player out there in Holborn, I think it was. Couldn't quite bring the mark down. Venning looks to clear. Does break the tackle with a big solid mean. In short to Muff. Brad Ellis now. McLaren still looking to go pretty quick to catch my Ponga unawares. They drive it forward up towards centre forward. It's a very disappointing kick. And Ogilvy just playing that plus one. And he's had plenty of it. Looks to be a dangerous kick in board though. It's intercepted here by Mitten. Should have players on. Merritt's got it. He's got one over the top. Chooses not to go. And he'll go back and look to kick his second within a matter of minutes. So a very risky kick. But my Ponga do play that fast footy through the middle. With risk comes reward, but when you do turn it over, you generally got players everywhere on the opposition. And well set up there by Mitten. He's been a live wire in this first quarter. As Merritt, the big gun from the southeast, lines up and gives it a big roost right into the goals. And it's touched on the last line. And a minor score on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. McLaren just starting to bring a bit of pressure back in. 
to this uh, to this game. A bit of forward half pressure as the kick comes out. Kennedy, but in front is Merritt. Takes a strong mark. Looking to play on, but held up. Taking it slow now. Looking for a lead. Punches one out wide. He's got to play it. How do you leave that man by himself? The master, Brett Ellis. 15 metres in the clear, and he'll go back and really put some pressure back on Moponga. I think they've sort of dominated this this quarter of footy, Bruce, but McLaren's now just just, just easing back a bit of that attention. And in, they? Yeah, they have, and they'll probably take just the one goal down. All the play, but not enough say, as they say, and Ellis is happy with it. He steers it through the middle, and McLaren come back. They've got two. Not every business gets to be part of a life-changing moment every day. What we get to do is pretty special, and we never want to take that for granted. We're incredibly proud to help more Australians sell their home than any other real estate group. We're even prouder of what we're able to help you with. Special moments just like this. Proudly Australian. Proudly family-owned. Proudly Ray White. Back in the centre. Up they go. McLaren win the tap. Comes out wide here to Brown. My Ponga get the clearance. Oh, in front spot. Good mark, Vandalua. Umpires today, Mitch Docking and Nathan Salt. Yeah, we've got to give credit to the umpires. There's not enough good ones out there these days, It's uh, especially in community footy. So if you are thinking about getting back into the game somehow, umpiring is a great way to do it. As now Ash Goodison in the comeback game after the uh, disappointing injury late last year. Looks up towards Merritt and Laurie. A big fly at the back there as it comes to ground. Great pressure by McLaren. He's called it a throw that's a bit tough, I thought, but they'll take that. As Henry Matthews, the speedster, he's brother of Lockie. He's wanting the ball back. He's begging for it. Drives it up forward. It's a bit of an ugly kick, but it might just work out. Allison's there. It's a strong effort. <clears throat> Good defence by Maiponga as it falls to ground. Now comes the pressure from McLaren. Eased now by Maiponga as a high kick out towards Merritt. And it's punched over the line by James Hutchinson. Hutchinson, a very famous name down in the Mudlark district. I think you could probably rattle off at least 10 of them who have played over 100 games. Popular name and great club men. Great contribution to not only the club, but great southern footy. Ball comes back in. Big hands there of Laurie. Comes out. Forward. Umpire blows his whistle. And it will be a free kick there. Quite see what happened there. Last line of defence there. Maybe it was the uh, last possession. Fly there. Through the pack. Play on the call out the back. A lot of players on the ground. Good smarter. The old one percenter. Commercial hotel one percenter. Good work. And chips it over. Quick movement of the footy. Oh, just got a hand on it. Done enough. Oh, solid bump in there. Balls at ground level. Players dive in there. Good tackle. Thrown out. Laurie comes through. Bang. Ball gets free. Another good tackle. Well done there. That was on Matthews, I think. Yeah, Henry Matthews is looking to use his pace. Jeez, wasn't there some solid collisions in there? <laughs> Venning crashing in hard. Kennedy putting his body on the line. It's fantastic to see our goods community footy back all around South Australia today. As my Ponga clear it out. Goodison leads his man to the ball, gets uh, gets his eyes to it, goes to ground. Great pressure in there by my Ponga. Can't get it out. Now Vandalua gets out. That's Good a beautiful tackle. tackle. Great tackle there. They look to move it up now. Here goes Matthews, hands pull it back. The king of helicopters, Vandalua, and it is cut off by Moponga. It's spoiled late. And looks like it'll be stacks on the mill for another ball up. As we are now nearing the 24 minute mark. 14 to 19. Moponga with the early, the early goals, and McLaren have just steadied in the last five, ten minutes. Certainly have. Ball right near the boundary line. And the umpire says, throw it in. So, Proud, Shillabier and Hindsy, the goal kickers for my Ponga. Tapped out the back. Chance here. Bullet ground level. Hacked out. 
Quick kick out of there. Good mark. Plays on. Runs hard to Zvandalua. Drives it in inside 50 again. Big pack again. Front and centre was McLaren. Another great strong tackle there on Ma. And Ma was going nowhere. And the umpire was balling up. Good yeah. work there by Kempster. It's been a feature so far. The pressure and the tackling. Up they go. Ball's in there. In dispute. And he's just gone this way, that away. Worked out well in the end. That was the Spinks. But it's uh, coughed it up. And on the centre wing, it's taken here by McLaren through Moyle. Chips it over. More near the club. Goes long. Good Eason. Chance here for a mark. Good spoil. A lot of numbers around the drop of the footy. Oh, came out almost thrown it out. Play on's the call. Good sweeping handball. Setting up something here. Great fast play. Just can't take the mark down there. That was the Shillabeer. Play on's the call. Comes out the back. This way, that away. Good dodge there by Edwards. Umpire says play on. McLaren a chance to repel through for Naughty. Yeah, great defensive efforts there by McLaren. A real team getting back there. Ellis looks to calm the ship now. Goes through the middle. Both teams still really attacking through the middle. As Harry Evans now has got some time and space. Looks out wide. A one-on-one -on -one battle here. Great battle too. In there is fit. Grabs some space now for Tom Fennedy. He hands it on. Harry Evans, great second up. Hey, it could have been held. And the umpire has paid it. He's got the free kick, but I think he's well too far out. A little bit of push and shove here. My Ponga be careful not to give away a 50 with a free kick. He looks to be well outside his range, but... The little fellow will, uh, with the sleeve all down the arm will run back and unload a barrel and see how he goes from all of probably 60 metres, 65 metres. He would need his absolute best, Bruce, to get it, <laughs> I reckon, to the goal square. But or a couple we'll of lessons off Malcolm Blight, maybe. As he's going for the Malcolm Blight top and he's uh, not really connected properly. And there is the siren. And the end of the first quarter, it had everything... Great opening start by Maya Ponga Selix with three quick goals and McLaren fight back to level it up to a real even game. 3-1 plays 2-2. We'll take a break from McLaren. Back in a moment, you're watching MFL TV Live. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas. No job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial. From plans, footings to shed instalment. He can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray land and out in the mallet. What does farming and the BT50 have in common? They are both reborn and built from the ground up. Perfect for the man on the land or that adventure, the BT50 is available at Duddon's Murray Lands. Duddons are a 70 year old third generation family owned multi franchise dealer that you can trust. Now with Ford, so check out their Everest. Duddons are your 4x4 and SUV specialists. Visit either of their two Murraybridge dealerships or visit duddons.com.au for more information. Duddons, easy to do business with. Me and the girls, we'd like to thank you for choosing Flurio Milk. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to continue doing what we love, helping make farming sustainable for the next generation. For my family, some things are really important. Flurio Milk is fresh, from car to shelf within 24 hours. They're locally family-owned, community-minded and passionate about farming. Real healthy dairy products, the way they used to taste. Flurio Milk, South Australian and proud of it. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 
70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 373 010. Have you got some water to pump? Need more rainwater storage or more supplies for the animals? We have the largest range and everything you need in store today. From fire pumps, spray equipment, pool pumps and filters, solar system water pumps, star droppers, gates and generators. A huge range of backhoe tools, PVC fittings and poly pipe to hay. Be sure to come in and see the team at Dacia Irrigation and Fodder for the right advice and the best price. Find us at 41 Mills Road, South Alban on 8536 double or 151 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge on 8532271. Do you need your driveway exposed with some awesome squares? Time to call a team from Carstairs. From shared floors, driveways or your footpath, call the guys at Carstairs Concrete Services. They've got the staff. Brighten that entertaining area with some colour. Call Carstairs. There is no other. From foundations to a fence post, no job is too big or too small. It's time to give the professionals Carstairs a call. Phone 0401 009 886. Carstairs Concrete Services. Our guarantee is setting concrete. No one knows your land or business quite like you. And at Nutrient Ag Solutions, we're committed to seeing you reach your potential. With more than 150 years of experience in Australian agriculture, unrivaled local knowledge and the ability to leverage our global reach, Nutrient Ag Solutions can deliver enhanced productivity to your farm gate. Together, we can feed the future. Welcome back to the beautiful McLaren Districts for the second quarter here with my Ponga holding a five-point lead after a real dominating first half of that quarter before McLaren through the likes of Ellison, uh, through the likes of Ellis and Fennedy really got control through the middle, piled on a couple of late goals. As the big fellas go up, Laurie in his 100th game can't quite get it down. My Ponga now, they take the clearance through Wilkins. And looks to be a free back here to the big fella in Whitford. Mitch Wilkins, of course, ex-Norwood player, a real damaging midfielder. Should um, get plenty of it today on North Melbourne's previously off the North Melbourne Kangaroos list. Probably get a game for him still, the way they're going. Drives it straight down the middle, looking for the captain coach in Shillabeer. Falls over, but gets back up, gets his hands to it. So they clear it out wide with a couple of handballs. Kennedy on that favoured left should snap, and he's pulled it just a little bit too far. A minor score. Quick start from my Ponga Selix out of the midfield. Yeah, it certainly was, and that's going to be the key, isn't it? Getting that ball out of the middle and getting it up there quick. Moyle will bring the ball back in. Of course, former we played for Meningi, not the Kuron Cats. Meningi Bear. As he brings it in to half back. Oh, good mark at the back. Good finger tipper. Oh, done there. Might have just hurt finger his... Finger tipper, okay. I think he might have popped one there. Yeah, he's done something. Goes off. That is uh, Whitford. So, first minute or two of a quarter hasn't been good in both the first both, and yeah. second quarters with injuries. I'll, uh, I'll try and get an update. Um about those injuries in that first quarter, I don't think either player has returned. 
So both players on a both teams on a warm day playing a man down early in the season. See how that works out later in the quarter. Sun did disappear, but it's come back. It's not a bad kick in for goal. Spoil at the back and a minor score over the line on the Murray Valley Sheds scoreboard. And my Ponga go to 3 3 21, 2 2 14, margin seven points. Moyle brings it back in, drives it down the club room side. Good crowd here today. At the back there, Laurie almost threw it out. Good Eason's got the run of it on the left to half forward. Two on one. Oh, good tackle. Just about rode him like a cowboy. The umpire comes in, he'll ball it up. Gee, that was a <laughs> producer says in the background a mechanical ball. <laughs> Tapped away. Good pick up. Good tackle. On Ellison, driven in long, my Ponga Selix at the back. It's Ogilvy, takes her relieving mark, comes out wide to Cooper. Cooper over, finds Spinks. He's Great tackled. pressure. Beautiful pressure, oh. good spoil. Hard work on the ground level there for Evans. Another great smother there by uh, Fenorti. It's on back here too. I think Harry Evans probably unlucky not to get that free kick and... Both teams have come out really smarting here. I think um, Matthews with his Matthews hands still arguing. Yeah. It did look to be a clear holding the ball, but holding the ball is one of the most discussed issues from AFL all the way down these days. It's hard to pick week by week, let alone decision by decision. So you just trust the umpire makes the right one and get on with the game. Great tackle by Mitten. Wilkins come in and just gave him a bit of how are you today. Laurie gets the big figure in the road. He punches it out. Inside out. Well done there by Mitten on the right. In towards the goals. Up they fly over the back. Chance here. Tried to toe poke it along with the hands. Good tackle again. on uh, That was a 24 of merit. And it's out of bounds. Umpire's really letting it go. It looked to be a clear hold on the ball there against Merritt. It looked to miss the handball. But maybe they pay one and, uh, and let the other one go. Bit of an evener upper there, I think. Wilkins just a bit proppy out there on the left ankle. Mm. We'll keep an eye on that. He's not moving too well at all. No, not at all. But he's got Brett Ellis right next to him. As now McLaren look to get it through. He's picking that one holding the ball. So you make it <laughs> the best you can, I suppose. As now Kennedy now out wide. Chips it over. Beautiful left foot. Finds his man in Hutchinson. There's definitely plenty, plenty going on and off the ball here. It's a bit of a fiery contest here. Drives it down. Laurie's in the right spot. Maybe the sun in his eyes couldn't quite grab it. Goodison overruns the ball. Now comes the uh, the man for my Ponga there in Hines. Hines couldn't quite. Turned it over. Now McLaren with a clearing kick up towards Fennedy. Takes a strong mark on centre wing. Sun in his eyes. Sunbathed ground today. Chips it in board. Finds Mitten, strong mark. He started really well, Luke Mitten. He'd be the number one out there on the field. Chips it inside. Venning, he'd want to get rid of it quick. It did. Bit of a scrubber kick up forward. Chaos ball, as they call it. But now, look, here comes Matthews as well with that pace and pressure. Looks to get it out. My Ponga hold it up well, and they do. Spinks outside of the boot. Finds the young man there in Dylan Lang. He gets around on his left foot. This is danger now. Kennedy on Goodison. Uh, Kennedy on Vandalore. Vandalore wins out. Great contest there on Kennedy. And McLaren will definitely take that as a win. I thought Kennedy was going to grab that in space and he would be off to the races from there. Certainly would have. Just a chance for the players to have a breather too. With this throw in, it has been a fast pace. Tapped out. Good work there by Laurie. Down to his rover. Kicks it in the half forward. Well trapped here. By Cooper, pressure's on. This way, that away by Kempster. Centering ball, can't intercept there was Brown. Play on, over to uh, some bit of real estate down the wing. Quick kick down the half forward, big spoil there. Punched away by Vandaloo and it goes out of bounds in front of the Cricketers' Pavilion. Ray White, Normanville scores around the grounds at quarter time in Canterbury, three goals. Wollonga got 1-1. One, one. Goa 4-1. Leon Creek 6-5 and the Bulldogs 5-3. Yank 2 points and the remaining game, Strath 2-5, Victor 3 goal. Mm, some interesting um, interesting scores there. Looks like Gore have uh, 
got a few more attacking options, so that's good to see. Hopefully those teams that, you know, the Gulwe, Yankalillas, those clubs can can really make a fist of it this year and, and push their way up the ladder. They've been struggling for a few years now, so for the competition sake, it'd be great to see them up and about. Great Southern scores, thanks to Ray White, Normanville, back in the centre we go. Oh, he's tripped over, he's managed to trap it on the pitch. Oh, good work there, just got a fingertip to it. Jumps on his opposition, and again, it's right him like a cowboy. The umpire comes in, he'll ball it up. A little bit of feeling out there. Interesting to see the uh, coaches set up. So it looks like Ponga might be playing a plus one away from the contest. McLaren have their extra player up at the contest. So Ponga looking to clear with that plus one in the defence. And it'll be a turnover with the out of bounds. Last possession rule. So they drive it up forward looking for Ellison. Gets his jukes up. It falls down there. Not quite. Matthews now. Lockie that is. Look to get one high. The umpire let it go. There's now Waponga clear again, a big spiral, fortunate enough to find the player out there wide. I can't quite see that far with the sun. It might have been Spinks, was it? I'm not sure. Goes down centre wing, big fly, can't take the mark, ball at ground level. Oh, good second effort, dodges a would-be tackler, good tackle this time and holding the ball. And the free kick goes with the Eagles, centre wing. Real tight affair to start this second quarter. Both defences, I guess a bit like the first quarter, it took for 10 minutes before the goals started coming. All players not giving an inch as Ma drives that one up, looking forward to Ellison. Can't quite bring it down. Good defence. Ellison asks for the free kick and the umpire will pay it. My Ponga players thinking maybe not. He might have played for it. As Muff goes on to kick the goal, get a cheap one, but nah, it will come back <laughs> to Cody Ellison. It's a beautiful long kick. Imposing figure, really good basketballer. And I'd back him to go back and slot this one. We've got a streaker on the ground. <laughs> a four legs variety. And they'll just get that dog off the oval. And remonstrating with the umpire there, Kennedy. Mm, you want to be careful. As Ellison takes his full allotted time. Big driving drop punt and he sails it through. McLaren have got three. Simply Shutters and Shades. The simple choice when it comes to blinds, curtains, shutters and shades. With over 15 years experience, we know our stuff and we know how to help you. Zip track and zip screen, roller shutters or plantation shutters, or maybe you prefer curtains. Whatever you need, we can help make it simple and easy for you. Call Simply Shutters and Shades today. Book your free design consultation and let the team transform your vision into reality. Simply Shutters and Shades, 0413 688 486 and remember to ask for the MFL TV discount. Oh, what a game here. And gee, we've seen several commercial hotel one percenters. It's locked up. Three goals apiece. Kennedy gets a clearance down to half forward. And they got one here for the runners. Steam out towards the boundary line. Just keep it in. Snap around the body there. Great work by Cam. No, not Cam. It was Sir Kelly. And the ball goes out of bounds. And... Players just have to be a little bit careful. A few of them sort of remonstrating with the umpires. Yeah, plenty of feeling in the games. What we, what we expected, two highly touted teams to push for a uh, a top two finish. I think these two will really be the benchmark this year. Wilkins seems to have run out that sting on the ankle. So that's good news there for the Mudlarks. And the ball out of bounds again, and it will be the... Last off free kick going the way of the Eagles from the back pocket. Reggie Moore, vice captain, uh, dual captain, sorry, uh, looks to drive it out. Looking for big Sam Lorien. Why wouldn't you in his 100th game? Gets it down now as McLaren. Henry Matthews now with pace and speed. Looks to get it up. It's a two on one up here, though, for fit. And it might be a downfield free kick. It is. And that's, that's a long way downfield. The, uh, the umpire in the back line paid that one. Not sure. Maybe the um, a bit of back chatting has been going on, and a bit too much. So Connor fit, imposing figure, might be a little bit far out. Looking at his options, he's lining up. We've got a beautiful angle of this one, Bruce. Yes, he'll be looking to fit this one through the middle. 
Oh, he's got it on the side a little bit. It's going to go straight down that line. And a big sort of spoiler drop short. And the Mudlark's clear. Not a pretty looking kick. Kennedy's there, but standing his ground. Good mark. Taken by McLaren through Goodison. Yeah, he's been busy. He has. His brother Luke kicked a few goals in the B grade. Luke Goodison as Ash now drives it up forward. Looks like there was another free kick. They all look at the umpire. Is it mine? Is it yours? It was a push. Yeah, going the way of my ponga. Early push out of there. It will be... Just can't pick up who it is taking it right on the last line of defence near the point post. Goes short and finds Kennedy. Probably with Mitten at the moment, one of the two best on the ground. Kennedy looking for options. Ben goes centre wing in front of our commentary box. Oh. Good mark. Taken there by the Mudlarks. Hines. Heinze. Real touted to be a, a star of the competition this year. As they look to take it on through the middle again. One umpire called play on. The other one said holding the ball. So we'll take the holding the ball. And Reggie, little Alex Moyle, chips it out wide, switches it up. they got players on off the bench. Looks like Darcy Brown looks to move it on now. It's the shot on goal. Comes from fit. And it looks pretty true. A magnificent Flurio Gin goal of the day. The Commercial Hotel, 27 High Street, Strathalban. Great location, beautiful big meals, fast, friendly service. Pop in for a coldie at the Commercial. The Commercial has the only drive through bottle shop in Strathalban, and we do takeaway meals too. Check our menu on our Facebook page. Dine-in bookings, phone 0885 362 021. Proudly supporting local sport. Oh, big important clearance here in this one. Great shot of our split screens. Four goals to three. McLaren have fought their way back to hit the front. After the three first goals to my Ponga Selix. It's hard work out there. Good stuff in there by Ogilvy. Oh, good work by Ellis. Clever this way, that away. On the left, hooks it round the body. Over the top. Chance here, looked to be a high mm -hmm. tackle early, but the umpire didn't see it that way, and it'll be a ball up, I think. Do Great. You know what, you've got the job today, John, of the rich hotel player of the match. And yeah, I think uh, I think it's a tough call. Yeah, Kennedy looks unreal at the moment. Um, probably just not as damaging. I think Mitten has set up a few goals, so probably Mitten and Kennedy for mine at the moment been outstanding. I think Mitten forward of the ball has been a bit more damaging than Kennedy. With Kennedy getting a lot of ball across half-back and setting it up, those two have been outstanding. Great players to watch. Locked in there, half-forward. Umpire lets it go. Cracking day for the opening round of Great Southern footy. And it goes out of bounds. And we'll have a throw-in right on that half-forward line, right in front of the timekeeper's ambulance section there. Looking into that sun with our backdrop here. Beautiful uh, Picturesque gum trees in the background. Tap forward. Good tackle in there. Mittens in around the pack. Hacked out of there. Good work there by... Uh, that was so proud, I think. Comes to half forward. Thrown it onto the boot quick. Down in front of the Cricketers Pavilion. One-on-one. -on -one. Good spoil, my Ponga Selix front spot. And it goes out of bounds for another throw in. It's great to see these two battle in the middle there. you got Mitch Wilkins... Who's going to be a real star in the competition this year, standing right by our side. The male medalist himself from two years ago, the back to back medalist in Brad Ellis. Those two should have a great fit today, a great fight out. Should be brilliant to watch. Gutsy mark there by the Mudlarks. Had to sit under it, took it comfortably in the end. Nice pass to centre half forward. And, gee, that was a lovely way to kick. And the mark taken here by Kennedy. And he'll go back and certainly within range try and steer this one through. They just need this one, I think, Waponga. They had three pretty early on. In, yep. Pretty early on. First They've probably three. gone nearly a quarter without kicking a goal. So, Kennedy, elite skills. I'd back him in to kick this. 40 out straight in front. A little bit of a breeze to contend with. Not much. 
Looks good off the boot. It looks straight just to the left of it. Has he got enough legs? He has a goal. G'day, I'm Adrian Pedrick, your local state member for Hammond. Also privileged to be the Shadow Minister for Veterans Affairs, Emergency Services and Regional Roads. So pleased to be part of the great Southern Football League sponsorship. We've got a magnificent area through Langhorne Creek at Strathalbyn as part of my electorate and making sure that we get right outcomes for people so that we can get better education services, better health services. We do justice to the peace services in the office at Murray Bridge or we can come to you. Whatever needs you have, uh, we can assist and uh, get those state needs officiated with <laughs> back in the centre Laurie gets the big mitt to it oh just head down tail up from Kennedy bust through the pack oh what a game we got on our hands here surely that's a holding the ball it's just about hang on to him for about 20 metres he had a chance he could have got out the umpire wouldn't have seen that from this side obviously because he was blindsided but gee what a contest Thumped away, heads towards the boundary line and goes out of bounds. We'll have a throw in. Looks like they got Connor Sampson running pretty close with Ellis now, so hoping that might free up Wilkins to get a bit more ball through the midfield. Point in it, 4 3, 4 2. Tapped over the back. Good tackle, just got his foot to it. No, he didn't. Umpire said incorrect disposal. Free kick, McLaren. It's young Sampson there might have. Got an injury to his ankle as well. Looks very gingerly getting up. You'd never know how you're travelling until round one, do you? Do all the pre-season, Bruce, and then come round one, you just don't know what's going to happen. Injuries, form, it all shows out on the field. Yeah, the real thing. No trial game here. Points up for grabs. Good Eason drives it in. Up they fly. Over the back there. Couldn't take it. Was Whitford right near the boundary line. And the old scoreboard out of bounds. We'll have another throw in about 25 metres around from those goals. As that sun comes out strong again. Beautiful afternoon here for round one of great southern footy. Up they go. Whitford gets pushed out of it. Mitten around the body. He's happy. So is the goal umpire. That is a Flurio Gin goal of the day. Is your home your office or your schoolyard, your gym? Is your home your local, your party venue, your studio or your headquarters? Change your home to suit your life. Don't miss your chance. Find your local real estate office. Back in the middle, and another physical encounter, and it's that man, Mitten, back for, Mac for uh, McLaren, last year down at South Adelaide, and he is a gun the year before best on ground in the grand final, down at Goolwap, and he's just running around out there like, not a lost sheep, but a very, very busy, fast sheep. Great grab. Another good contest over there. Oh, might just be a bit yeah, happening there. there. Was there a bit of an there elbow? Is. I, I don't think he liked the... Uh, and he's just reversed it right in front of Coach Chihani. And he has opened the window and let him have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chihani loves a word. Uh, he, he, usually, he usually tells us that he's got to have the windows shut and locked up there so he doesn't yell out. <laughs> as luckily it is saved and punched along the line in front of the coach's... For my Ponga, and uh, just a bit of a um, shout out there to Lockie Cam. He's held Shillabir to a goal, which for nearing a half a footy has been an outstanding effort. It looks to be maybe an um, boundary umpire discretion. Yeah, I think he might have just, yeah, the umpire, I think, just explaining to the uh, McLaren player there, was it to... Uh, uh, that he just pulled the, elbow, the arm and the elbow back, I think, mm. so he got caught. There's probably another Ooh. free there. Not paid. Yes, it is. Umpire down this end seen that one. And we'll come back to that position. It won't be downfield. Mitten, I think it is. It's got it. Uh, Harry Evans, I think, oh, that Evans, one. Yeah, it? another blonde-haired, yeah, long-haired. Similar. 
very, very similar size and uh, hairstyles. So both teams have just got to contain their composure here and just play a bit of footy and get back on track as Evans switches across to the big fella in Venning. Switches it even wider to Goodison. Eyes in the sun, still takes the mark. Moponga have done very well to hold this up, that switch. Now Goodison looks to move it through the midfield. Does does the old one-two, frees up a bit of space, drives a great smother off the ball. That's the kind of stuff that they're looking for. As Dylan Lane came running probably 30 metres across, hard work to lay that smother and get the ball thrown up. Centre wing straight in front of our commentary box. The old commercial hotel, one percenter. Commercial Hotel, a great establishment out there at Strath. I'm sure you've had a few quiet beers out there, Bruce. A couple of frothies there, been no known doubt. to. And great sponsors of MFL TV Live. And another great little establishment down there is the Terminus Hotel as well. As Whitford runs through, he had a bit of clear air, drives it in. Good contest down there. Both players one-on-one, -on -one, busting their... Backs off to get that footy. Umpire comes in and he'll ball it up. I was only going to say something busting else. Your, oh no, busting your footballs, no doubt. <laughs> up they go. <laughs> Tapped out. Little toe poke. Finds a bit of real estate out towards the boundary. Good hands. Bouncing ball. All got interfered with. Yes, good decision by the umpire. Score around the grounds. Victor 45, Strath 30. See no Bryce Gibbs for Victor today, so he'll pick and choose when he can play with coaching commitments down at South Adelaide. But uh, it'll be great, great to see players of that ilk running around in country footy. Certainly will. Long to half forward. Shillabeer in there and just coming across the front of the pack. So it wasn't Shillabeer, it was um, Whitford coming across the front of the pack. That was a great mark. Chipped it into centre half back. Hacked out of there. Great work by Proud. Over and finds a teammate. It's to be uh, Kelly, I think, into that sun. Up to half forward, Shillabeer. Plays on. Short. Just grass burned it. Didn't quite get enough air. Made it hard for his teammate. Oh, oh good tackle. what a tackle. On the ball, and he Paid plays advantage. on and kicks a goal. Flurio Jin, goal of the day. If you're looking for a reliable concrete supply, one who employs locals and puts locals first, Sprycrete is the team you need to call. Sprycrete provide quality products with fast, friendly, reliable service. Sprycrete have mini mixers and large concrete trucks for any type of job, no matter the room you have on site. There is no job too big or too small. Sprycrete, your local concrete supplier in the Murraylands. Give them a call 0459 944 346. Six. Back in the middle, and the umpires found a hold. There's our last ten goals. We've got uh, McLaren really fighting back with five of the last seven. You want to sponsor that? Email us, Murray Lands Football Netball. 19 at gmail.com. Shillabeer tucked in the pocket. Doesn't like his chances here as the umpire blows Tom on and says, no, nah, you need to come more around into the car park. Put him out in the uh, cricketers' pavilion there in a minute. Might be a couple of frothies left over from the season. And he's right in that pocket. Yeah, popular popular place to kick him here at McLaren, out of the change room, straight down to the junction. He smartly centres it up, and there's a player all by himself. How do you let that happen? Connor Sampson. Terrell, Coach Petruzzi will be absolutely livid with that one, just giving him 15, 20 metres in space, 35 out, straight in front. You just cannot do that at this level of football. Well, he must have had some sort of a GPS because... <laughs> We didn't even see him there, but uh, nah, beautifully done. And straight in front, should not miss. And sails it through. And the Mudlarks have got another one. They've got six. 
Sticky, Sticky Mo, Sticky Mojo. Ashley and Philippa at Sticky Mojo, your local sign experts in all types of signage, vehicle wraps and paint protector film. Get your business the sticky treatment with business cards and flyers. Sign up with Team Mojo. A-frames, banners, core flutes, shop fronts, illuminated in 3D, magnetics and vehicle signage. They offer a full artwork and design service. They have your sporting club covered too with sponsor signs and honour boards. If you want the complete mojo, 7B Chris Collins Court, phone 85489253. Check out their Facebook, Adhesion with Attitude. That's a wrap. Back in the middle, a hard four footy to win here. The Mudlarks come away with it. They've found a bit of steam. It's Lang down into the full forward area in a good mark. Free kick. I free think kick. it's a free kick to Shillibier. Got wrestled to the ground. And he's just about got the, that. When he knows he's got the footy and going back for a shot at goal, he's just about got the army walk, hasn't he? Yeah, he does. He's definitely got a, a strut to him. He, he knows what he's doing. He, he's like, give me that footy. I'm putting this one through the big sticks. And... um. They've just grabbed the ascendancy in the last five, five or so minutes. I think they, they held have. McLaren very well. As McLaren, I think, probably had f- probably h- uh, 80% of the footy in their forward half. As Shillabier sets sail, and that is three in quick succession for the Mudlarks as they pull away. Hi, this is Jimmy. As a family, we own Cool Tours. Come and join us as we show you country. Don't wait. Go to cooltours.com.au now and book an experience. Don't just have a tour, have a cool tour. Back in the centre, McLaren get the clearance, but the siren sounds. Oh, what a great quarter it was. And my Ponga Selix regained the ascendancy late in the quarter. And what a big halftime score with my Ponga Selix 7 3 45. And they lead the home side, McLaren District 5 2 32 on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. The margin. 13 points. Gee, there's been some good players right across the ground in that first half, hasn't there? Yeah, there has been some great players all across the ground. You look at the likes of Ryan Kelly and Spinks. Um, Jaden Hines has come on really well. Obviously, the star in the midfield. Ben Kennedy has had plenty of it on that damaging left foot. Just great skills. And then you look over to McLaren, I think. Vandalore across half-back has chopped up everything in the um, after losing Kane Hopkins to that shoulder injury, which we'll follow up at half-time and get some news on that. But Luke Mitten and Brett Ellis in the midfield have proved a real strong up forward, um, forward and damaging. So hopefully the game keeps going It is the way it is. very entertaining and we'll look forward to a really good second half. We certainly do. And we'll take a break here. Real big match. Round one of Great Southern footy, but gee, I've been impressed with the commercial hotel one percenters. It has been a tough footy to win. We'll be back. We'll take a break, refresh, and be back with the run home in the second half. Round one, Great Southern footy. Stay with us. You're watching MFL TV Live. There is only one way to get your team top of the ladder. Bridge Aluminium. Manufacturing under the brand All Weld. Making platform ladders, orchid tripod ladders, tradie ladders and mezzanine ladders. They also manufacture vehicle canopies, ute trays, toolboxes and perform truck fit-outs. Aluminium material sales. Their range is the best. Drop in to 225 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Email sales at bridgealuminium.com.au or phone 8532 5884. Bridge Aluminium. When it comes to ladders, they're the top team. It's time to relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. That's the feeling you get from the Soul Deep Massage Clinic, specializing in relaxation, remedial massage, trigger point therapy, and reflexology. With on the spot health fund rebates available. Phone 85310499. Refresh your mind, body, and soul with the Soul Deep Massage Clinic. 74 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge.
It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas. No job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial. From plans, footings to shed instalment. He can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray Land and out in the Mallee. From farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, Calibon sheds, cyclone rated sheds. With over 15 years experience, call Wayne today for a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417... 852 Builders Licence 243 895 There's only one thing better than a footy win that's sitting back relaxing with a Florio gin. Small batch handcrafted gins using a combination of botanicals just like my favourite, the Florio Sunset. Nothing beats it. Check out the new Florio Gin Distillery and Cellar Door at 464 Fork Tree Road, Maiponga. How about your own gin with a personalised label for your special event or even a grand final win? Grab a Florio Gin 3-pack or the popular vanilla vodka. That'll keep you coming back. You can click and save at fluoriogin.com.au, distillery right to your door. Or call Shane, 0400-254-933. Florio Gin, seriously good gin. If it's time to add a little magic to your flooring and windows, our online catalogue is full of great ideas at great prices. There's magic in a Solomon's floor. Yes, great. And there's magic in a Solomon's store. If it's time to add a little magic to your windows, our Sultan's range of custom-made blinds, shutters, curtains and outdoor screens means there's something for every home. And that's why... There's magic in the Solomon store. Thinking Insurance, an MGA insurance group broker, can save you time, money and stress. Whether it's business, farm, crop, professional or private insurance, MGA provides advice and assistance to make sure you're properly protected. And when claims arise, MGA works for you to ensure that you get your full entitlement. Your local MGA insurance group broker is a specialist in insurance and risk management. Give them a call today and put MGA to work for you. Contact John, MGA Flurio, 0439 886 Double three one. Not every business gets to be part of a life-changing moment every day. What we get to do is pretty special and we never want to take that for granted. We're incredibly proud to help more Australians sell their home than any other real estate group. We're even prouder of what we're able to help you with. Special moments just like this. Proudly Australian. Proudly family-owned. Proudly Ray White. What does farming and the BT50 have in common? They are both reborn and built from the ground up. Perfect for the man on the land or that adventure, the BT50 is available at Duddon's Murray Lands. Duddon's are a 70 year old, third generation, family owned, multi franchise dealer that you can trust. Now with Ford, so check out their Everest. Duddon's are your 4x4 and SUV specialists. Visit either of their two Murray Bridge dealerships or visit duddon's.com.au for more information. Duddon's. Easy to do business with. Me and the girls, we'd like to thank you for choosing Flurio Milk. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to continue doing what we love, helping make farming sustainable for the next generation. For my family, some things are really important. Flurio Milk is fresh, from car to shelf within 24 hours. They're locally family-owned, community-minded and passionate about farming. Real healthy dairy products, the way they used to taste. Flurio Milk. South Australian and proud of it. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 08 85 373 010. Have you got some water to pump? Need more rainwater storage or more supplies for the animals? We have the largest range and everything you need in store today. From fire pumps, spray equipment, pool pumps and filters. Solar system water pumps, star droppers, gates and generators. A huge range of backhoe tools, PVC fittings and poly pipe to hay. Be sure to come in and see the team at Dacia Irrigation and fodder for the right advice and the best price. Find us at 41 Mills Road, South Alban on 8536 or 151 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge on 853 do you need your driveway exposed with some awesome squares? Time to call a team from Carstairs. From shared floors, driveways or your footpath, call the guys at Carstairs Concrete Services. They've got the staff. Brighten that entertaining area with some colour. Call Carstairs. There is no other. From foundations to a fence post, no job is too big or too small. It's time to give the professionals Carstairs a call. Phone 0401 009 886. Carstairs Concrete Services. Our guarantee is setting concrete. No one knows your land or business quite like you. And at Nutrient Ag Solutions, 
we're committed to seeing you reach your potential. With more than 150 years of experience in Australian agriculture, unrivaled local knowledge and the ability to leverage our global reach, Nutrient Ag Solutions can deliver enhanced productivity to your farm gate. Together, we can feed the future. Simply Shutters and Shades. The simple choice when it comes to blinds, curtains, shutters and shades. With over 15 years experience, we know our stuff and we know how to help you. Zip track and zip screen, roller shutters or plantation, you prefer curtains. Whatever you need, we can help make it simple and easy for you. Call Simply Shutters and Shades today. Book your free design consultation and let the team transform your vision into reality. Simply Shutters and Shades, 0413 688 486 and remember to ask for the MFL TV discount. The Commercial Hotel 27... Welcome back to our Saturday afternoon scoreboard brought to you by Dace Irrigation and Fodder, Cast Airs Concrete Services, Dutton's Murraylands and Solomon's Flooring. Let's have a look around the grounds in Great Southern Football and see what's going on in our establishment down here with the scores around the grounds. And it is in Counter Bay, 7-1-43, leading Wollonga, 3-5-23, the margin of 20 points. Goor Port Elliot, 5-3-33, taking it up to Leon's Creek, 10-11-71. And, of course, the game here, the Eagles, 5-2 versus the Mudlarks, 7 goals, 3, the margin of 13 points. Over at Mount Compass, it's the Bulldogs, 9-5-59, a commanding lead over Yankalilla, 1-2-8, the margin of 51 points. And in the final game in Great Southern footy, it is Victor Harbour with a slender lead over Strath, 7-3-45, leading Strathalbyn on 4-6-30. So a little bit straighter kicking there by the Victor Harbour Roos. And they have a 15-point lead there at the long break. Scores around the grounds in River Murray football to hand. And it is Jervois 6-8. And that is 44 points leading Maipalonga on 6-1-37. The margin of 7 points. And that is the only score we have to hand in River Murray and the time that we've got. But a big thanks to our Saturday afternoon scoreboard sponsors, the great teams at 151 Adelaide Road and is it 41 Milnes Road, Strathalbyn in Dace Irrigation and Fodder, Tommy Carstairs at Carstairs Concrete Services, Mark and the team at Dutton's Murraylands and Steve at Solomon's Flooring. Have you got some water to pump? Need more rainwater storage or more supplies for the animals? We have the largest range and everything you need in store today. From fire pumps, spray equipment, pool pumps and filters, solar system water pumps, star droppers, gates and generators. A huge range of backhoe tools, PVC fittings and poly pipe to hay. Be sure to come in and see the team at Dace Irrigation and Fodder for the right advice and the best price. Find us at 41 Mills Road, South Alban on 8536 4422 or 151 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge on 853 one. Do you need your driveway exposed with some awesome squares? Time to call a team from Carstairs. From shared floors, driveways or your footpath, call the guys at Carstairs Concrete Services. They've got the staff. Brighten that entertaining area with some colour. Call Carstairs. There is no other. From foundations to a fence post, no job is too big or too small. It's time to give the professionals Carstairs a call. Phone 0401 009 886. Carstairs Concrete Services. Our guarantee is setting concrete. What does farming and the BT50 have in common? They are both reborn and built from the ground up. Perfect for the man on the land or that adventure, the BT50 is available at Duddon's Murraylands. Duddon's are a 70 year old third generation family owned multi franchise dealer that you can trust. Now with Ford, so check out their Everest. Duddon's are your 4x4 and SUV specialists. Visit either of their two Murraybridge dealerships or visit duddon's.com.au for more information. Duddens, easy to do business with. If it's time to add a little magic to your flooring and windows, our online catalogue is full of great ideas at great prices. There's magic in a Solomon's floor. Yes, great. And there's magic in a Solomon's store. 
If it's time to add a little magic to your windows, our Sultan's range of custom-made blinds, shutters, curtains and outdoor screens means there's something for every home. And that's why... There's magic in the Solomon store. The Commercial Hotel, 27 High Street, Strathalban. Great location, beautiful big meals, fast, friendly service. Pop in for a coldie at the Commercial. The Commercial has the only drive through bottle shop in Strathalban, and we do takeaway meals too. Check our menu on our Facebook page. Dine in bookings, phone 0885 362 021. Proudly supporting local sport. G'day, I'm Adrian Pedrick, your local state member for Hammond. Also privileged to be the Shadow Minister for Veterans Affairs, Emergency Services and Regional Roads. So pleased to be part of the Great Southern Football League sponsorship. We've got a magnificent area through Langhorne Creek at Strathalbyn as part of my electorate and making sure that we get right outcomes for people so that we can get better education services, better health services. We do justice to the peace services in the office at Murray Bridge or we can come to you. Whatever needs you have, uh, we can assist and uh, get those state needs officiated with. Is your home your office or your schoolyard? Your gym? Is your home your local, your party venue, your studio or your headquarters? Change your home to suit your life. Don't miss your chance. Find your local real estate office. If you're looking for a reliable concrete supply, one who employs locals and puts locals first, Sprycrete is the team you need to call. Sprycrete provide quality products with fast, friendly, reliable service. Sprycrete have mini mixers and large concrete trucks for any type of job, no matter the room you have on site. There is no job too big or too small. Sprycrete, your local concrete supplier in the Murraylands. Give them a call 0459 Nine double four three four six. Sticky, Sticky Mo, Sticky Mojo. Ashley and Philippa at Sticky Mojo, your local sign experts in all types of signage, vehicle wraps, and paint protector film. Get your business the sticky treatment with business cards and flyers. Sign up with Team Mojo. A frames, banners, core flutes, shop fronts, illuminated in 3D, magnetics, and vehicle signage. They offer full artwork and design service. They have your sporting club covered too with sponsor signs and honour boards. If you want the complete mojo, 7B Chris Collins Court, phone 85489253. Check out their Facebook, Adhesion with Attitude. That's a wrap. Hi, this is Jimmy. As a family, we own Cool Tours. Come and join us as we show you country. Don't wait. Go to cooltours.com.au now and book an experience. Don't just have a tour, have a cool tour. There is only one way to get your team top of the ladder. Bridge Aluminium. Manufacturing under the brand All Weld. Making platform ladders, orchid tripod ladders, tradie ladders and mezzanine ladders. They also manufacture vehicle canopies, ute trays, toolboxes and perform truck fitouts. Aluminium material sales. Their range is the best. Drop into 225 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Email sales at bridgealuminium.com.au or phone 8532 5884. Bridge Aluminium. When it comes to ladders, they're the top team. Uh, welcome back. Second half. We're underway. And straight away, McLaren have got the footy in the middle. And it'll be taken here by Matthews. Long kick in towards centre half forward. Bit of push and shove down there. Big fist away by Ogilvy. Out the back door. Chance here for McLaren. Kick it. Goal and it oh, dribbles through. What a goal. Lucky Matthews. Florio, a... gin, goal of the day. It's time to relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
That's the feeling you get from the Soul Deep Massage Clinic, specializing in relaxation, remedial massage, trigger point therapy, and reflexology. With on-the-spot health fund rebates available, phone 85310499. Refresh your mind, body, and soul with the Soul Deep Massage Clinic, 74 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Back live, get an update on those injuries from the first half as uh, my Ponga Selix, oh, he handled that to himself. Mm -hmm. Clever play. After a teammate drives it inside 50 and it was the Kennedy. Sits underneath it and takes the mark low down and will have a shot at goal. Yeah, we'll just start with a couple of those injuries here, Bruce. Kane Hopkins, who looks like he's popped his AC joint and looks to be in a fair bit of pain. Um, so he'll probably miss a, a, a bit of time, I think, with that. Ligament damage there, so as we look for Kennedy lining up, tight angle. You trust him, though. Looks beautiful off the leg, but he's just pulled it a bit too much to the right for a minor score. As we move over to my Ponga, it's um, Brad Clark, who is in game 300 for the club today. He's um, done a serious ankle injury. The famous uh, Baz Clark's son, I think Baz played over 500 A-grade games, which is a state record, so really, really well-known man down here. And I was talking to uh, one of the Hutchinsons, and he said, mate, if it was Baz Clark out here, he would have been back out there with a strapped ankle, and out he goes. So as tough as they came, and durability to play 500 games of football in any league is unbelievable, <coughs> let alone down here in the Great Southern. What an outstanding effort, and what a man. Barry would have sorted it off and played with a stump, yeah. wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. So. so wishing those two blokes all the best in their recovery as it comes down towards centre wing and a big fly. Good mark taken there by Goodison. the flying Goodison. Centre beautifully kicked out of there by Holbertson. Over there, good work by my, my Ponga. They start to clear it with the Spinks down to... Uh, Great run and carry, and a good mark down there, taken by Kennedy. Uh, Kennedy, Kennedy. Was, flicks over, and now that's a juggling mark across the line, which was already out. Nearly marked that one in the back of uh, Eagleton's Ute over there, one of my good mates, Eagleton and Shorty over there, having a beer and discussing how good they were. Plenty of premierships in those two boys. Just about uh, landed it in the back of the Ute for the carton of beer, maybe. Mm. Comes across into the defensive area, switching the play. Beautiful leg out this side. Chance here for uh, Goodison up to centre wing. Good mark taken by Moyle, the former Meningi Bear player. Now the captain, isn't he? Co-captain. Yeah, he is with Brett Ellis coming over from Manella after winning a premiership there with Coach Petrucci a few years ago. As he drives it up, and that's a very strong mark as the big man in Whitford. Whitford. Beautiful Been mark. a great ruck duel, those two. Whitford and Laurie, two of the great ruckmen going around at the moment. Could be uh, really telling in this last half to see who gets on top and pulls down those sort of marks as Waponga. Very cautious moving forward. McLaren, plenty of numbers back. Laurie sitting back here, 50 metres off the ball. As there looks to be a bit of holding and pushing and shoving. Ellison wasn't happy with that. It's a quick switch across the play now. Another great contest. Waponga looking to use the angles now. Club room side, good crowd in today. Two very strong clubs in the competition as we're seeing throughout the footy today. But a very disappointing kick. Shilby would be upset with that one as they're moving forward. A couple of wasted opportunities here for Waiponga. They've probably had all the play this quarter and yet McLaren's the only ones that have put one on the board to tighten the score up. Next goal important, just give Waiponga Selex the little edge. Whilst if it's McLaren, it levels it up again for a very interesting quarter. And the umpire's found a push. The ball will come yeah, back. Just as he's kicked it, it's going to come back. You don't get that one down the field when he's kicked as pushed. No one on the mark, so Mar goes quickly. Hits up Mitten. Umpire says not 15, play on. Mitten won't mind that as he uses his pace and skills. But just off balance as he kicked that one up into the tree, which will take a little bit of getting down, but great pressure by Ponga as they bring it in. Back through the middle, finds Kempster. Kempster, slow and sturdy out of the back line. They cost them a bit in the first quarter with some costly turnovers. Out here, he's played a uh, fantastic game in Hines. Moves it up forward, looking for Schillebeer. Goes over his head. Bad bounce there, creates another effort. 
Maiponga now with a second opportunity. Scoops it out wide. Out wide here for oh, Lane. Great tackle. tackle. Brilliant tackle. It's been a highlight of the day, hasn't it, the tackling. Both teams, fierce pressure. Ah, uh, the commercial hotel one percenters. And a bit going on there. A crowd getting involved too. Good crowd here for round one. Out of defence goes McLaren and Matthews to the half-back line. Oh, well stolen by the Mudlarks. Chipped in over the back of Kennedy. Well done. Mopped up again back there is Goodison. Finds a teammate who quickly on with it to the tall timber of Laurie. He plays on with a handball to Marfellis. Ellis outside of the boot, if you don't mind. Oh, oh, Beautiful what a skills. Kick. Over the top to his teammate. And he runs in. Lockie Matthews and kicks a Flurio Gin goal of the day. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas. No job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial. From plans footings to shed instalment, he can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray Land and out in the Mallee, from farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, colour bond sheds, cyclone rated sheds, with over 15 years experience, call Wayne today for a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417 852 032. Builders licence 243 895. Back in the centre, the clearance important. My Ponga Selix. Handball out, they've got a bit of space. Quick kick. Oh, the pressure's been unbelievable. Down to half forward. This is uh, the 16 of Kelly. Nice kick and finds the safe hands of Shillabeer. It's been some great skills on that pass there by Kelly. Just had to put it into the spot for Shillabeer to run onto so he could dictate where he wants to mark it. So we look back to that kick by Brett Ellis going into the forward line to Matthews for that last goal. There's not many players at this level that can just do that. It's almost AFL standard, outside of the boot to move it in the other direction. As Shillabeer lines up, Lockie Cam has done a great job on him so far, and Shillabeer hasn't quite got the distance on this one. Well, we need a sponsor for that. The the outside of the boot to uh, be brilliant. We'll just have a chat with uh, Mar Phyllis. Mm. You, can you promise you, you can do a couple of those a match <laughs> for the sponsor? We'll be here every week. But, uh, gee, that was uh, just uh, absolutely brilliant. And well finished off for the Flurio Gin goal of the day. Some of our great sponsors as it's a hard tussle in there. Seven goals apiece. Who's going to break first? Back into the centre area. Big flying ball. Big handball out there. That was by uh, Ogilvy. And it's locked up. Stacks on the mill. And a ball up right in front of the club rooms. Just over there a moment ago. Big crowd over there. And the club, plenty of people flying in and out. Good crowd for round one. Tapped away into the hands and immediately tackled, gang tackled, and a ball up. Yeah, as we have a look at the Murray Valley Sheds scoreboard, it's tightened up. It's seesawed all day. It seems like Ponga get away, McLaren's hit back. Ponga get away, McLaren's hit back. Shows testament to both teams how strong they are. Reggie Moore takes this one over the boundary line. Right in front of the coach's box. Beautiful day here. It's... Like I said earlier, it's going to be interesting to see who runs this game out, who's put those pre-season yards in that can push out on these warm days. You don't get too many of them in the Great Southern League, these 22-degree sunny days. It's usually drizzly and cold and rainy, so we'll take them while we can. Well, free kick goes the way of, looks like... Uh, Harry Evans. Evans, yeah, yep. I was going to say game. Mitten. <laughs> very Mitten. similar. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you are. Very similar. He switches across to Vandalua. Vandalua has Venning. Ignores that. He likes to go up with a real air floater. Classic Vandalua oh. kick. Tough to mark. He's dropped it. Probably still should have taken it. Ellis comes through, moves it out here towards Fennedy. He's paid. He might have paid. Kicking in danger as Ellis has now been pushed over and it's re not reversed. So... Yeah, well, that was... Uh, might see if we can get an MGA insurance of Lockie's got a moment to uh, get the replay of that drop mark. That was not pretty. Certainly worth a mention for the sponsor. Inside out, good work. Handballs it inside. Chance here for uh, Spinks. In long. Sitting at the back. He waited. McLaren got enough in there, and it's locked up, and a ball up in front of the old scoreboard. 7-5, play 7-2. I reckon you'd be fair to say it's going to go right down to the wire. Yeah, definitely. McLaren here, clear out wide towards Laurie, the bigger frame. 
But Kennedy, again, getting his body in there. He's such a smart footballer. Knows when to go, when to peel back, when to push forward. They've got to pay a bit more close attention to him as he's someone that definitely can tear this game to part. Start of the third quarter in River Murray. Score coming in. The Cats, 9-6, lead the Roosters 4-3 down there at Meningi. So, big thanks to our sponsors, Dace Irrigation and Fodder, Cast Airs Concrete, Duttons and Solomon's Flooring, keeping us well in touch with the River Murray scores. And of course, Dace, one of our big sponsors, right on board with the upcoming Anzac Day. We'll be covering that match. Two games in that round. It's at round three, isn't it? Yeah, round three. It's a um, real rivalry round as well, that one. I think it's uh, Stratham the Creek. Out there under lights on a Thursday night, always a fantastic night out there. I've got plenty of mates out that way, so I'm sure they'll pack it in there. And I think McLaren's got Wollonga in the grand final replay at, at Wollonga. So it be a uh, cracking weekend. And across uh, all across the country, Anzac Day is really special to, to all Australians. Ball comes out of defence. Big high fly there from the 35 of Kennedy. Might have just given away the free kick. And it'll be taken here by McLaren through the agency of Fenordi. It's got quite a few blokes yelling for it. Oh, just pass their little gentle shoulder there and into a mitten. Punched away by Laurie. Out of bounds. Yeah, players already sort of hands on hips and a little bit tired, so... The good players stand up in these chances and McLaren have got all their big guns around the ball. Mitten, Ma, Ellis. So do and as you said, the likes of Kennedy. Fairly warm out there too in that sun and running around. Add to it a little bit more. Bit of gravy coming out. Kennedy in there again. Hard fought contest that is on the bottom of that pack and the umpire will ball it up again. Just forward of centre. And that little fella Evans in there hard again. Harry Evans, up they go. Laurie Whitford, third man up, punches it over. Chance here, good tackle. Handball comes out. Big fly there. Might have been Gadison, I think. Comes in hard. Running here for uh, my Ponga is uh, the 38 of Sampson. He might run in all the way he here. Might. Here's he is. done. Another Flurio Gin goal of the day by young Sampson. And my Ponga pull out again. There's only one thing better than a footy win, that's sitting back relaxing with a Florio gin. Small batch handcrafted gins using a combination of botanicals, just like my favourite, the Florio Sunset. Nothing beats it. Check out the new Florio Gin Distillery and Cellar Door at 464 Fork Tree Road, Maiponga. How about your own gin with a personalised label for your special event or even a grand final win? Grab a Florio Gin 3-pack or the popular vanilla vodka. That'll keep you coming back. You can click and save at floriogin.com.au distillery right to your door. Or call Shane, 0400-254-933. Florio Gin, seriously good gin. Back in the centre, quick clearance by McLaren. Can they get one back? It goes over the back, runs inside 50, but it's all the mudlarks. A bit of a blind kick around the corner, almost brings some rain. Just a little body contact there, didn't affect uh, Fenordi, and the ball runs towards the boundary. And the umpire comes in and says, I'll throw it in. Both players asking for a uh, free kick for last possession with the soccer, but I think the umpire saying it just come off the fist and rolled across as the boundary throw in now. Inside McLaren's forward 50. The umpire says, can you please throw that one in a little bit higher for us? Favour the little men. There's a reset in play, this one. Nice and high and it goes down, pumps down. McLaren looked to get it out. My Ponga strong in the contest. We'll lock it in there. As we look around the ground now, it's pretty much a one-on-one. -on -one. McLaren will drop one player back to the middle who's just getting manned up now. So it's man-on-man -man football. Who's got the best? As they push it out now, McLaren pushing and surging. Can they break through? Mittens in there. He'll get a snap. Great smother there. Bought some space for my Ponga. They look to clear it now. Great pressure again. It's still in there. This time now, Merritt looks to get out. He's getting tackled. It's a fierce footy down there. The ball. And the umpire said, Merritt, you did not dispose of that correctly. And they'll clear as they beautiful kick out wide. Finds Ryan Kelly. 
Had a great game so far. Switches it out. Even wider. Levi Proud, earlier goal kicker. True centre wing position. He looks up towards big Shillabeer. Shillabeer and Cam. Shillabeer with strength. Played it where he's played a push in the back. Ooh. Gee, that's rough. That just looked like yeah, a show of strength, yeah, Bruce, yeah, didn't it? Yep, show of strength. On with you there. That was just brute strength. A little unlucky. That's how it fell. Chip back. Chance here again. My Ponga Selix. Victor Harbour, 65. The Strath Roosters, 43. Scores around the ground, thanks to Ray Wyatt. Backwards kick, finds Kennedy. Just sums up the situation here, does the general. Kennedy, Shillabeer, can't take the mark. Over the back, 20 metres. Well done down there. Looks like it might be uh, Venning down there. It was Sam. Series of handballs. Ball at ground level right near the boundary line. And goes out of bounds for a throw-in. Right just outside the 50. 8-4, play 7-2. Next game. Next goal will be important in this game. Could just be a buffer for McLaren. Could level it up for... Uh, sorry, buffer for my Pongo. Level it up for McLaren. Oh, brute Great strength sake, in there by Merritt. Out wide, little thumble. God, oh, Kent's the tide. Comes through, crunch. The one percenter from the commercial hotel. Down towards inside 50. And the umpire's found a free for a hold. And it'll go the way of McLaren. Yeah, big Cody Allison over there in front of the McLaren Districts Cricket Club. Beautiful club rooms. May need a little upgrade on their roof, Bruce, but <laughs> they do what they can to keep the clubs ticking, as all all community clubs do. As Allison looks to tie this game up. It's been another really great third quarter. Allison is giving it a good roost. The players like it. It's home. It's home. Another Flurio Gin goal of the day from the junction out there on the 50. Fantastic work, Cody Ellison. If it's time to add a little magic to your flooring and windows, our online catalogue is full of great ideas at great prices. There's magic in a Solomon's floor. Yes, great. And there's magic in a Solomon's store. If it's time to add a little magic to your windows, our Sultan's range of custom-made blinds, shutters, curtains and outdoor screens means there's something for every home. And that's why... There's magic in the Solomon store. Back live. In hard they go. Quick clearance out of there by the little fella Ma. Inside 50. Oh, well trapped and turned around by Merritt. Sweeps the handball out. Is it Ellis? He goes wider still. Finds the man in Holbertson. And it's gone out of bounds, I think. On the full. Relieving kick in. Gee, wasted opportunity. Yeah, it's great to see young Jet Holberton out there again. He um, played in a B-grade premiership a few years ago. Went away from footy. And he's come back and to, and to break into the A-grade side as a, as a young fellow. is great effort. to see. He just rushed it. Might have been some talk around him. Ball comes back in. Good kick. Uh, handball over the top. Just a gentle tap. Trying to set up a teammate. Bit of a dodge and evasion there by Proud. Umpire says Ooh. holding the ball. Looks like they've tightened up on the holding the ball this quarter after letting a few go early. It's Van der Lua, Real stalwart in the back line. Even though he's a relatively young fellow, he's played plenty of footy back there now. Both uh, premierships. Got to say, though, John, the game really hasn't had... A real big, and there's another opportunity there. Any real big marks, any Solomon's marks of the day, just such as the, the contest mm. and the and the spoiling and the one percenters. Solomon's flooring just haven't had too many big calls for big marks, and it's just a real tight contest. Yeah. And it's going to be who can break eight goals apiece. It has been a real arm wrestle, hasn't it? And they've both got tall timber up forward, I expect. Someone like Matt Merritt or um, Shillibeer to take a Solomon's flooring mark of the day, but un unsighted as yet. Good series of handballs. Hook around the body, out of the danger zone. Over the back there, right in front of the magnificent canteen. The ladies there, the volunteers. Might have been a gentleman or two in there as well. Served us up a magnificent lunch. And it's great to support the community footy canteens with our MFL TV trailer. As another ball up in front of that good-sized crowd over there. Hooked around the body. 
Into centre field. Big oh, thump from bang. the back again. You've got to earn your marks if you want them today. Oh, could have been high on the tackle. The umpire didn't see it that way. Yes, he did. Paid it late. Oh, this might be absolutely crippling here for McLaren as Ash Goodison, one of the club leaders and one of the genuine stars of the competition, is in serious trouble here at centre after that spoil. Looks to be in a lot of pain. I'm not sure if it's an ankle, a knee, both trainers, but you talk about people who hold clubs together and is a real... Well, he seems to be... It might have just been a Jardine because he's still hobbling away. I'm not too sure it's best he stays out there. We'll, we'll keep an eye on him. Wasn't one of those blokes that needed to listen to a horse race for 20 <laughs> seconds, was it? Tell me who's, he's just who's winning more for the third. <laughs> he's taken off like a... Isn't he? Like he's been rubbed down under a dollar note or something, but... Uh, he looked in a world of pain and he's just... Good to see he's moving around and OK. Oh, just a couple a little of knock. Mm. injuries we've had. With that, McLaren shot at goal. And a chance here to get the lead back and... Oh, no, sorry, my Ponga. Sorry, my bad call. I was watching the other guy there across the goals. And good contest there again for the mark. And the umpire's going to ball it up. Good spoil there by Tom Fennedy. I thought the... Um, Just man or man, isn't it? was Kennedy in there in the pocket who might have had it. A couple of makeshift ruckmen go up for it. They get it out. Great tackle. Got a handball away, though. Vandalua now picks it up. Looks to act towards Fennedy. Feeds it out wide. The old one, too. Chips it up now. Out towards the wing. Contested there by Merritt. He's had a great third quarter. What can he do now? But my Ponga have cleared it. Out they swing it out wide to Cam Dalitz. Now finds Kennedy in front of Ma. In front of our commentary box. Chips it out. Up there. It's a three-on-one. McLaren have got the numbers. Spoil it. In come some more hostages. And away they go now through Reggie Moyle. Switches it across. Good hand. Solomon's Finds mark it. of the day. Yeah, that was. Ellison, he, he can pull down a Solomon's mark of the day. That's for sure. Look for him in the last quarter. Generally plays across half forward. That wing, high half forward. Can take a great grab. Push it outside. Matthews goes up. Can't. Falls down towards the back. Little left foot, ugly kick. Bit more of a contest now. My Ponga looked to clear it, but it's just great pressure. It's just been like that all day, hasn't it, Bruce? Just yeah. that tight, contested finals like footy, and we're only in April. Commercial Hotel 1%ers. And there's the matches to come. And there it is. Uh, the Eagles with Victor away, Wollonga away. It's a tough run. Strath home, and then Yankalilla away. So a pretty tough opening three games for McLaren, whilst on the other side of the ledger, Waponga Selix, Mount Compass away, Yank home, Wollonga home, and Strath away. As that goes in towards the goals and through for a minor score on the Murray Valley Sheds scoreboard. Yeah, looking at some of the results today, you just never know early in the year who's going to be the strong teams. You hear talk around town, oh, it's going to be this team, it's going to be this team, but... Until the first five or six rounds go by, you never really yep. know, especially country footy, who the late recruits are. I know my Ponga have lost one just recently to Aldenga. It's a terrible turnover there by Reggie. My Ponga now look to swing it back up forward. They'll be looking for Shillabeer. They do look for him up forward. Oh, good grab. Great mark. Your man, good Eason, Solomon's mark of the day. Good contested footy. And... Oh, was it Venning? It might have been Venning. Venning or was. It Venning. Yeah, it looks like Holbert in there, clearing out. Driving kick. At the back there, well, that was like Laurie just pushed over a heap mm -hmm. of books. <laughs> Sitting at the back, he was the bookend, and it went over his head too. The umpire will come in and ball it up. Up they go. Laurie in there again. Ball to ground. Strong tackle. The umpire's found a free. Over the shoulder. Claren with the spoils, quick, cheeky one out to a moil. Captain to captain there, over towards Ellis. Ellis does a one-two, fends off, left-hand handball. Oh, and just as he's kicked it, the siren's gone. And we are set up for a magnificent third quarter with just the one-point margin in favour of the Mudlarks. Bruce, who do you like from here? Oh, it's going to go right down to the wire. Probably, yeah, it's probably my Ponga just... It's been a ripper game. Just a commercial hotel, one percenters. 
They'll play a big part in this final term. It's set up for a thriller. Round one, great Southern footy. Don't go anywhere. Get the cup of tea in the break and sit down and watch the run home in this round one match of great Southern footy. We'll take a break, refresh, be back. You're watching MFL TV Live. Thinking Insurance, an MGA insurance group broker, can save you time, money, money and stress. stress. Whether it's business, farm, crop, professional or private insurance, MGA provides advice and assistance to make sure you're properly protected. And when claims arise, MGA works for you to ensure that you get your full entitlement. Your local MGA insurance group broker is a specialist in insurance and risk management. Give them a call today and put MGA to work for you. Contact John, MGA Flurio, 0439 886 Double three one. Not every business gets to be part of a life-changing moment every day. What we get to do is pretty special and we never want to take that for granted. We're incredibly proud to help more Australians sell their home than any other real estate group. We're even prouder of what we're able to help you with. Special moments just like this. Proudly Australian. Proudly family owned. Proudly Ray White. What does farming and the BT50 have in common? They are both reborn and built from the ground up. Perfect for the man on the land or that adventure, the BT50 is available at Duddon's Murray Lands. Duddons are a 70 year old third generation family owned multi franchise dealer that you can trust. Now with Ford, so check out their Everest. Duddons are your 4x4 and SUV specialists. Visit either of their two Murraybridge dealerships or visit duddons.com.au for more information. Duddons, easy to do business with. Me and the girls, we'd like to thank you for choosing Flurio Milk. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to continue doing what we love, helping make farming sustainable for the next generation. For my family, some things are really important. Flurio Milk is fresh, from car to shelf within 24 hours. They're locally family-owned, community-minded and passionate about farming. Real healthy dairy products, the way they used to taste. Flurio Milk, South Australian and proud of it. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 373 010. Have you got some water to pump? Need more rainwater storage or more supplies for the animals? We have the largest range and everything you need in store today. From fire pumps, spray equipment, pool pumps and filters, solar system water pumps, star droppers, gates and generators. A huge range of backhoe tools, PVC fittings and poly pipe to hay. Be sure to come in and see the team at Dacia Irrigation and fodder for the right advice and the best price. Find us at 41 Mills Road, South Alban on A536 4422 or 151 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge on 853 Do you need your driveway exposed with some awesome squares? Time to call a team from Carstairs. From shared floors, driveways or your footpath, call the guys at Carstairs Concrete Services. They've got the staff. Right in that entertaining area with some colour. Cool car stairs. There is no other. From foundations to a fence post, no job is too big or too small. It's time to give the professionals car stairs a call. Phone 0401 009 886. Car stairs concrete services. Our guarantee is setting concrete. No one knows your land or business quite like you. And at Nutrient Ag Solutions, we're committed to seeing you reach your potential. With more than 150 years of experience in Australian agriculture, unrivaled local knowledge and the ability to leverage our global reach, Nutrien Ag Solutions can deliver enhanced productivity to your farm gate. Together, we can feed the future. Simply Shutters and Shades. The simple choice when it comes to blinds, curtains, shutters and shades. With over 15 years experience, we know our stuff. 
and we know how to help you. Zip track and zip screen, roller shutters or plantation shutters, or maybe you prefer curtains. Whatever you need, we can help make it simple and easy for you. Call Simply Shutters and Shades today. Book your free design consultation and let the team transform your vision into reality. Simply Shutters and Shades, 0413 688 486 and remember to ask for the MFL TV discount. The Commercial Hotel, 27 High Street, Strathalban. Great location, beautiful big meals, fast, friendly service. Pop in for a coldie at the Commercial Oh, oh back, back with the, the back, back with the final term. We're underway. It should be a beauty. And straight away, the umpire will re and up. And who do you think would be in there on the bottom? That man, Kennedy. Yeah, Kennedy and, and Ellis, the, Ellis. The two getting up. And, and you talk about those commercial hotel one percenters. This quarter is going to be absolutely littered with them as Ellis gets his kick out out towards Merritt. Merritt fighting with his opponent. In comes that man, Harry Evans. He's played a good game. Using his pace, dodges one, snaps on the other, but it's an ugly-looking kick. It might just fall in play, though. It does, but now trickles out. I think untouched. The McLaren player saying he touched it, but didn't look touched to me. My Ponga now get to clear the ball out of the danger area. Right down to the wire, this one. 8-4 plays, 8-3. One point the difference in favour of the Mudlarks. Across the goals to the old scoreboard. And down that backside wing with Spinks. What can they do? What can they get uh, happening here? Up towards the uh, centre wing area, the umpire. Says you've got the mark right on that near the coach's box. 8-6 plays, 8-2. Scoreboard here, very hard to read at the ground too with the sun on it. 8-6 plays, 8-2. Back in there. Good mark there by McLaren. As the sun beams down from that other side, makes it hard to mark. That's a good mark. That's a Solomon's mark of the day in that sun. Strong contest there by Kennedy. Flicks it over now. Just a little bit too far. You want to get a hand on that. And I think... He did not, and Ellis will be the recipient of the free kick. Switches it in board, looks to go attacking. Ma now pops it up. merity has got about four to beat here. Can he contest? You'd Good probably take spoil. that. A great spoil out there by Jack Cooper, who's been solid down there today. It's been a great battle. Cooper and Merritt battling it out. That's why we haven't seen as many marks. It's mm. just been the one-on-one -on -one contest. The, the one percenters, the commercial hotel one percenters, Brilliant footy to watch. Will these two play in the grand final of 24? Remains to be seen. A long way to go yet. Kennedy in there hard. Oh, it's a tough, hot footy in the kitchen. Ellis on the side of that pack. Umpire comes in and he'll ball it up. Two and a half minutes gone. Final term. Punched away. Quick kick out of there. That's going to be the key. Getting the ball and kicking it quickly forward. To the advantage. Hot footy in there. Good work around that pack there by Moyle. And the Mudlarks end up with it right in front of the cricketers' shed over there. Is It uh, looks like it might be Shillaby. Yeah, I think it is, right in front of his coach's box. I was working on that real strut walk back to take the kick. And Shillaby, just the one goal to date. And it's gone right in there, and it's play on, and it's gone for a Taking point. Through. Yeah, I think uh, Lockie Cam's probably one of the um, one of the best players today. He's held Shillabeard just to the one major. Great effort. Certainly is. Back in there again, right near the Maiponga coach's box, and the ball out of bounds. We'll have a throw in. Well, not too many have left their seats over there. Might be a little bit cooler in the shade, but the action's hot out in the middle. Who's going to break first? Kennedy runs onto this. Strong tackle. Holding the ball. Kennedy with the free kick. He's played a great game, hasn't he? Whether he's doing those commercial hotel one percenters 
Well, those long raking left foot kicks as we see out there looking for Shilly Beer. Great contest there by Cam. Brings it to ground. Solid by Vandy Lure as he runs away. Finds Mitten. Sells some candy. Chips out wide. He's got the run of Fennedy out here on his wing. He's made this his own wing over the years as a junior and onwards, but a very disappointing kick. Great contest, though. Has bought some space here for Mitten. He's got the speed. Goes to ground. Gets back up. Goes one way, then the other. Finds Ellis. And I think he's copped a high one here. And he has earned the free kick. Mitten. Looks like he's cramping up. As he would be on these very hot days. He's going to be kicking this probably from 50 metres. Maybe outside his range. Some sore, tired bodies. Handballs off to the running Moyle. Moyle now from just on 45 metres. Goes bang! And gets McLaren in the lead by a point with a Flurio Gin. Goal of the day to Reggie Moyle. The Commercial Hotel, 27 High Street, Strathalban. Great location, beautiful big meals, fast, friendly service. Pop in for a coldie at the Commercial. The Commercial has the only drive through bottle shop in Strathalban, and we do takeaway meals too. Check our menu on our Facebook page. Dine in bookings, phone 0885 362 021. Proudly supporting local sport. Back in the middle of clearance with the Mudlarks to half forward. Proud can't take the mark once again. Good spoil from behind. What a contest. Who's going to break? The Maiponga Selex, they have got a little lead. Can they hang on to it? They go forward again down towards the goal front area. And a good mark taken down there by, looks like, Shillabir again. No, it isn't. It's... um. So 20 something. Was it Shilby? Wilkins over there in yeah, the pocket? Wilkins, 27, Maybe. is it? It's a bit hard to see in the, in the shade in front of the glorious shed. I think there should be another goal on that scoreboard, too. Our scoreboard attendant just popped out for a moment. Get that fixed up. And That's a, a good looking a goal kick, and through. he's got it. My Ponga Selix back in front. G'day, I'm Adrian Pedrick, your local state member for Hammond. Also privileged to be the Shadow Minister for Veterans Affairs, Emergency Services and Regional Roads. So pleased to be part of the Great Southern Football League sponsorship. We've got a uh, magnificent area through Langhorn Creek at Strathalban as part of my electorate and making sure that we get right outcomes for people so that we can get better education services, better health services. We do justice of the peace services in the office at Murray Bridge or we can come to you. Whatever needs you have, uh, we can assist and uh, get those state needs officiated with oh back live what a game what a finish 9792 and they get the break out of the middle again the mudlarks proud down there good contest good battle was it with vetting in the shade over there down to half forward and a good relieving mark for the mudlarks is that, uh, I think it might have been Spinks, was it? Yeah, I think so. He's played a great game across half-back. Experienced campaigner down there, class footballer. That's what you need in these dying minutes. Is Not that it's dying minutes yet, but you'll see these good players stand up in this last quarter. The likes of Spinks, Kennedy. These guys for my Ponga Selix, you expect. Ellis, Lockie Matthews, these guys to stand up in the for their respective teams late in this quarter. Ray White scores around the ground. Three-quarter time in Canterbury, 7-5. Wollonga, 4-10. Leon's Creek home against Goolwa. And a close one here. And then, of course, Yankalilla struggling against the Mount Compass Bulldogs. And Victor Harbour look home against Strath in the match down there at Strath. There's some interesting results there. You look at Wollonga. Only, uh, Wollonga only kicking four goals in three-quarters of footy. would be a big shake-up for them on the big ground of in Canterbury. Counter Bay with a couple of good recruits. Thanks to Ray White. Scores around the grounds. As the Mudlarks keep it in the shade. Oh, through the hands. Ellis might have just told him the showers were cold. And he's dropped that one like a hot cake. It'll be a throw in in front of the old scoreboard. Real game of chess here too with the coaches in these last quarters. Who's going to be prepared to... To push one to the contest, are we? Do we send one back yet? How long until to go? 
Do we play attacking? Do we play slow? There's a push in the back there to Maiponga. Just a bit of an over-aggressive tackle there by Darcy Brown, who is um, a class left footer. Has put in a heap of work in the preseason. Earned his spot into round one. Approaching the 10-minute mark. Down the centre wing area. Punch from behind. and Gee, if you were sponsoring the spoils from behind, you would have got your money's worth today. Mm. It has been one of those days where the competitiveness has been unbelievable on the, uh, on the marks. Hambled out the back. Quick work there by Kennedy. It's a half-forward bouncing ball. Tried to tap it to his teammates' advantage, but they come away through Moyle. Good work by McLaren. They were cool. Here's Fennedy again out on that wing. He's played a great second half. Kicks it up now, and there's Ooh. cramp everywhere. Was that a hamstring? Is that a cramp? Jake Stummer-Harvey, I think it is there. Looked a bit of a hammy when he first did it, but seems to be okay now. Yeah, there's a lot of players cramping up. I'm just scanning my eyes across the field on both sides. Another one in the uh, middle there on the cricket yeah, pitch. Yeah, Ash Goodison might be, um, maybe that's what it was before, feeling that car for I just got a, a cramp. sting through the ankle maybe with mm. the, taking the mark, how he landed. Looks all right moving in to have a shot for goal. It's going to be a big kick for the young fella. Sets it up high, sets it up long, pulls it across. A big fly at the back to ensure that one gets over for a minor score. For McLaren who moved to 9 three fifty seven. To reduce that margin now to three points, anyone's game, half a quarter of footy to go. We wouldn't want it any other way, would we, Bruce? Certainly wouldn't. Great way to start the season with a belter here at McLaren. Ball kicked out. Kennedy takes the mark. Centre half back. Settles it. Now goes short. Finds his teammate in the little fella in... Uh, is that the uh, Hines? Is it Hines? I think yep. young Jaden Hines. A bullet in in there towards Lang. Thought it might have been touched. So plays on quickly. Is the run now? Run and goal. Can it be by Sampson? He's just pushed it across. Both teams really pressing here, but can't put the final blow on. Both teams now. Moyle swings it in board. Finds Fennedy for yet another kick. Swings this one out wide, looking for Merritt just over his head. Punches it on forward, but he's got another one to contest with. Moponga have got numbers back. Merritt does well to force a boundary throw in right in front of our commentary box on this beautiful afternoon here in the tourist area of McLaren Vale, surrounded by the grapes, the gins, everything we love in life. Oh, great contest too. Look at this, bit of, bit of chatter there between... <laughs> Ellison Lang. Ellison Lang. Great work in there. Good tackle on Mitten. It's a hot footy. And he's kicked that one too far, is he? It's going to be yeah. out on the full in any case. And it'll be Kennedy right in front of our commentary box. Play on. Gets a bit of height close to the mark. Oh, what a fantastic mark. If we're talking about a Solomon's flooring mark of the day... A late, looks like some more cramps settling in. But a fantastic mark. Is it cramp or he might have... Yeah, it seems like cramp is his player there. Let's Helps have a little replay. The Thanks M to MGA. Look at that. That is a gutsy contested mark. It's that young Hines again. He's yeah, played yep. a great game, hasn't he, the young fella? Certainly has. Oh, here's a contentious free to Shillabeer. Chopping of the arms looked like it was just a good contest, but my Ponga Selix will take this one as the uh, the player coach will line up. Let's see if we've got a replay of that. 35 metres out, slight angle. Let's see if our lovely lady on camera got that one. Thanks to MGA Insurance. And great to have John and the team on. Here we go. Yeah. And Shillabir oh, slots it through. And what a beautiful kick of the footy he is as he slots through his second and stretches that by Ponga Selix lead out to two goals. Is your home your office or your schoolyard? Your gym? Is your home your local, your party venue, your studio? or your headquarters. 
Change your home to suit your life. Don't miss your chance. Find your local real estate office. Oh, important clearance here as my Ponga Selix get a mini break. Punched away. McLaren got the spoils through Brown. Round the corner. Jump early from my Ponga Selix. Will cost a free. Oh, yeah. Interesting call that. He did fly early. I thought I might have thrown a free kick, but he did get his hands to the ball. So probably not an unrealistic attempt. Although he did fly early and stop the McLaren player from having a, uh, a jump at the ball. So... Those ones always are 50-50, but you take them if you can. It didn't look to be any sort of a hold there at all, so no. a big kick. Lockie Matthews, come back to the club. Can he set through his third and keep it on? And he does, and he's absolutely pumped, and so is the local crowd as McLaren close that gap again. If you're looking for a reliable concrete supply, one who employs locals and puts locals first, Sprycrete is the team you need to call. Sprycrete provide quality products with fast, friendly, reliable service. Sprycrete have mini mixers and large concrete trucks for any type of job, no matter the room you have on site. There is no job too big or too small. Sprycrete, your local concrete supplier in the Murraylands. Give them a call 0459 944 346. Six. Sticky, sticky mo, 
Sticky Mojo. Ashley and Philippa at Sticky Mojo, your local sign experts in all types of signage, vehicle wraps and paint protector film. Get your business the sticky treatment with business cards and flyers. Sign up with Team Mojo. A-frames, banners, core flutes, shop fronts, illuminated in 3D, magnetics and vehicle signage. They offer a full artwork and design service. They have your sporting club covered too with sponsor signs and honour boards. If you want the complete Mojo, 7B Chris Collins Court, phone 8548923. Check out their Facebook at Hoosian with Attitude. That's a wrap. On. Big goal there to the Mudlarks. They take a handy break. The McLaren boys need two kicks and they need them straight through the middle. And they've got to get the job done quickly. Down inside 50 a chance here. The ball pinched off of the uh, McLaren Eagles. The Mudlarks defending hard. Kick around the body. Bit of improvisation. Coming through against the tide. Great tackle on uh, Mitchell Wilkins, who we thought was needing an ankle replacement earlier in the match. He's come back and playing well. Down inside 50. They've moved the ball quickly. Handball out the back. Kelly's in amongst it. What can he do right near the boundary line? And the umpire comes in and he'll ball him up. Those commercial hotel one percenters have not slowed down all day, Bruce. The tackling, the ferocious attack on the ball from quarter one to now have just been outstanding. As this guy looks to take a few on, he might get pink for holding the ball, got the ball out. Here's Mitten pressuring and pressuring. I think that's Kennedy down there, spins one way, then the other. Goes in board, another dodge, gets around him. What can he do now? McLaren applying the pressure, but they're going to turn it over. Now Venning releases, and out come McLaren now through... I think that was Matthews, a long board, has found fit. Fit, realising time's against them. Doesn't want to turn the ball over. Kicks oh, it up now, almost finds 20, Brown. Almost 21 gone. Darcy Brown now on that beautiful left foot that he's got up towards Merritt. He should grab this. Great defence there by Mo Ponga as they have all day. They got the numbers back, should be able to clear it. Ask for a push in the back as they clear it out now on this other side. Still pressure though from McLaren. Those commercial hotel one percenters again locks it 25 metres out straight in front. Danger times here for Mwaponga. Can they resist? I think if they can resist this next minute or two, as we see another player go down with cramp, as we predicted early in the day, Bruce, the ones that can stand up here at the end are going to get their team over the line. Certainly are. And, you know, you just don't mark down those stats, do you, of of, uh, of the smothers and mm. uh, and the spoils from behind. The stuff that wins games, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, certainly is. And he just gets up a little bit lame, does Jake Spinks. Comes out the back door to get a breather. And the ball runs out in front of the old scoreboard. 22 minutes gone, about to hit time on. You really feel McLaren need to get a major here. It's almost a case if Maiponga Selix can run it down and score a goal, it's game over. But McLaren get one here and we get the finish that everyone deserves. And another ball up. The umpire putting the whistle away. Letting the game play. 22 minutes, 20 seconds gone in the final term. Punched away. McLaren get their hands on the footy, but they're wrapped up. Yeah, my Ponga are set up really well here. Plenty of players around the ball. The experienced campaign is not going to give McLaren an, an easy footy out of this contest. As we look, Mitten in and under there. Can't quite get it out. Ball's jumping around. Ooh, looks like a high tackle there too, Luke Mitten. Oh, he plays on straight away, realising the time. He didn't have to rush it, but just goes bang. And Luke Mitten, one of the stars of the day, has kicked a Flurio Gin goal of the day to keep the McLaren District Eagles right in this game of footy. Hi, this is Jimmy. As a family, we own Cool Tours. Come and join us as we show you country. Don't wait. Go to cooltours.com.au now and book an experience. Don't just have a tour, have a cool tour. (laughs) 
Just got my young fella in there more interested in the Crows Carlton game than this one. I'm like, mate, have a look at this game out here. It's an absolute beauty. Punched away. Well, we'll give it the call now. Next goal wins the game. Tight in there. Umpire will come in and ball it up again. 11 8, plays 11 4. And we're pretty sure we've got that score spot on. Four points the difference. And the next goal will win it. Oh, slip there by McLaren. Runner's got to get out oh, of the road. He's and paid, hold the ball. He's paid the pressure all day. We've said it from the day, Dot Brucey. The, the, the pressure that both these teams have put on. It is a finals-like game. The MGA replay of that holding the ball. We'll just get that. 74 players, 70. Huge kick this is. Almost There's, the game on his boot is. here. There's the Johnny Craven MGA replay. And he has kicked it straight, and it is right on the goal line. We're going to get a goal review. No, the McLaren players love it. He's hit the lead late in this final quarter. Connor Fitt, what a goal from outside 50 goes bang. Talk about a Flurio Gin goal of the day. That could be the winner. There is only one way to get your team top of the ladder. Bridge Aluminium. Manufacturing under the brand All Weld. Making platform ladders, orchid tripod ladders, tradie ladders and mezzanine ladders. They also manufacture vehicle canopies, ute trays, toolboxes and perform truck fit-outs. Aluminium material sales. Their range is the best. Drop in to 225 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Email sales at bridgealuminium.com.au or phone 8532 5884. Bridge Aluminium. When it comes to ladders, they're the top team. Back in the centre. Mudlarks get the clearance. 25 and a half going. You'd think there'd be about a minute and a half at the most left. Well done there by uh, Wilkins. Down into the forward pocket. Players run in there and dive in hard. It's on the ground. It's a grass level and it's just tied up. Oh, what a finish. Gee, we've seen a thriller in the AFL with the Giants holding on by a point. Are we going to get a similar finish here? Two points to difference deep inside the forward 50 for my Ponga. Can't be much time left. My Ponga now look to get through. They've got a break out, but it goes, dribbles along the ground. And will that be another ball in? Must have ran it across the line before he kicked it. Have a look at the cow paddock we have down this end. There is not a single player in the half of footy in the forward half for McLaren. He'd love to play a game of cricket. Cow corner right down this end. That's correct. Locked in there again. It's flood footy. And another ball up. 26 and a half going. You'd probably think, I don't think there'd be any more than a minute left in the match. Siren about to blow. Nothing in it. On the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. And it's in the sun again in that shady part over there. And the umpire says we'll have another throw in. All players appealing for a free kick. They just want to get their hands on the footy. Who's going to be the hero here? Will it be the likes of Goodison? Can it be Kennedy kicking the winning goal? Tap over the back. Here's Shillabeer. Can he be the man? He feeds it out wide here to Cooper. Cooper feeds it back now towards Shillabeer. Puts it in. Looks like it's going to be a clearing though for McLaren. They've got no numbers out here. There's absolutely no one. Chips it out wide. Can Moyle take? Great spoil. That could be a spoil that keeps the game alive. Commercial Hotel 1%er. What a finish here at McLaren. Just could have done more with that Shillaby rather than that little dribble kick, you reckon? Yeah, I think so. I think something like that, a more damaging kick to the top of the square might have been the option. Laurie now fists it down. It's going to be another stacks on the mill. Everyone wants a piece of that footy but can't quite get it. Out comes Dylan Lang, who's been a warrior all day. Well, there has been quite a few ball ups that might add for another minute in the match. Coming up, the team song and the best on ground. The Bridge Hotel, best on ground. Look forward to presenting that. And our magnificent $50 voucher, thanks to Steve and Michelle, team down there here's, at Bridge Hotel. Here's a go from my Ponga. Can he find a target inside 50? And he has. Oh, he's dropped the mark, though. Slapped out. They've got players everywhere here, my Ponga. It's now wrestled up. Oh, I thought my Ponga might have got an opportunity there to kick the winning goal. You see players haunched over all over the place. And there it is. McLaren have held on to win an absolute thriller. Thriller? <laughs> Hang on, what's... Still a bit... The players are just hesitant here. What's... Is there a free kick? I'm not... 
No players are shaking hands. They're looking at the scoreboard. Is this 11, 8, 12, 4? I think they're working out if it's a draw or not. Uh, it's a two-point two win to McLaren. Yeah, it was a two-point win to McLaren. What a fantastic game. A finals like footy we were lucky to watch here in the middle of April. Fantastic, Brucey. What a day it was. Oh, it was an absolute brilliant match. And let's have a look at our player of the match. Our Bridge Hotel player of the match. You've got the job, Johnny, of selecting that $50 yeah. voucher thanks to Stephen Michelle. Well, it could have gone either way. Pretty much you'd probably go only just with the winning team. I thought Kennedy was outstanding for my Ponga um, all over the day. Spinks down back had a great job. But um, my, my player of the day was Lockin' Burn Matthews. He started in the midfield, played up forward, kicked goals, was in it all day. Luke Mitten came in and out of the game a bit. But um, after talking with a few of the, uh, the coaches earlier in the day, during the game, they said Lockie Matthews' game was outstanding and I couldn't agree more. I think he kicked a few majors, kicked uh, two goals in that all-important third quarter to get McLaren back into it once my Ponga had cleared out. Would have had a numerous amount of footy, puts his body on the line and it's great to have him back at the club. And for me, he was my player of the day. Bridge Hotel. Bridge Hotel. Player of the day. Well, there you go. What a ripper here at McLaren. Big thanks to all our sponsors and a big thanks to you, Johnny, coming in. Maybe you might even might like to interview him. Do you want to do that for us? Mate, I would love to. He's one of the absolute characters of the club. You'll get a good interview for him. Right. I don't think you'll find a funnier person at any footy club going around. And if you do, that would make a great duo because he's an absolute delight and one of the best going around. Well, just seeing the umpires... Cross their flags to say the score's incorrect on the board. So it's the same score we had here, though. So might be a. I think they're just going to change it now. So there might be another point on. Uh, looks like there's another point on McLaren, maybe. Yeah, they're taking one off. That's why I found it very weird. No players were sort of jumping there you around. Go, it's just 12. one point off, so it's a one point win. Was it? Oh, now they're so changing. It's 12 3 2. 11, it actually might, was it a two-point win if they've taken one off McLaren and putting one on? So They're I'm saying it's a draw. They are saying it's a draw. 11, 9, well, 12, that 3. Is, that is controversial. <laughs> I'd, when, when the siren went and no players jumped around, I'm like, what's going on here? Why is there no celebration? So, well, that is very controversial, isn't it? Mm. Uh, two-point win on the scoreboard and they took one off of McLaren. Put one on the uh, my Ponga Celix for a draw. So what a controversial finish here at McLaren. We'll go and get an interview with our Bridge Hotel player of the match. Hey, stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Johnny Ferner up next with our Bridge Hotel player of the match. Thanks for watching. Next weekend we're at Strathalban. Uh, we look forward to that and your company for round two action in Great Southern Footy. Back in a moment. A few words from our sponsors. You're watching MFL TV Live. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas, no job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial, from plans, footings to shed instalment, he can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murraylands and out in the Mallee, from farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, colourbond sheds, cyclone rated sheds, with over 15 years experience, call Wayne today for a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417 852 032. Builder's Licence 243 895. There's only one thing better than a footy win. That's sitting back relaxing with a Flurio gin. Small batch handcrafted gins using a combination of botanicals just like my favourite, the Flurio Sunset. Nothing beats it. Check out the new Flurio gin distillery in Celador at 464 Fork Tree Road, Maiponga. How about your own gin with a personalised label for your special event or even a grand final win? Grab a Flurio Gin 3-pack or the popular vanilla vodka. That'll keep you coming back. You can click and save at fluriogin.com.au distillery right to your door. 
call Shane 0400 254 933. Florio Gin, seriously good gin. If it's time to add a little magic to your flooring and windows, our online catalogue is full of great ideas at great prices. There's magic in a Solomon's floor. Yes, great. And there's magic in a Solomon's store. If it's time to add a little magic to your windows, our Sultan's range of custom-made blinds, shutters, curtains and outdoor screens means there's something for every home. And that's why... There's magic in a Solomon's store. Thinking Insurance, an MGA Insurance Group broker, can save you time, money and stress. Whether it's business, farm, crop, professional or private insurance, MGA provides advice and assistance to make sure you're properly protected. And when claims arise, MGA works for you to ensure that you get your full entitlement. Your local MGA Insurance Group broker is a specialist in insurance and risk management. Give them a call today and put MGA to work for you. Contact John, MGA Flurio, 0439 886 Double three one. Not every business gets to be part of a life-changing moment every day. What we get to do is pretty special and we never want to take that for granted. We're incredibly proud to help more Australians sell their home than any other real estate group. We're even prouder of what we're able to help you with. Special moments just like this. Proudly Australian. Proudly family owned. Proudly Ray White. What does farming and the BT50 have in common? They are both reborn and built from the ground up. Perfect BT50 is available at Duddon's Murraylands. Duddon's are a 70 year old third generation family owned multi franchise dealer that you can trust. Now with Ford, so check out their Everest. Duddon's are your 4x4 and SUV specialists. Visit either of their two Murraybridge dealerships or visit duddon's.com.au for more information. Duddon's, easy to do business with. Me and the girls, we'd like to thank you for choosing Flurio Milk. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to continue doing what we love, helping make farming sustainable for the next generation. For my family, some things are really important. Flurio Milk is fresh, from cow to shelf within 24 hours. They're locally family-owned, community-minded and passionate about farming. Real healthy dairy products, the way they used to taste. Flurio Milk, South Australian and proud of it. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 373 010. Have you got some water to pump? Need more rainwater storage or more supplies for the animals? We have the largest range and everything you need in store today. From fire pumps, spray equipment, pool pumps and filters. Solar system, water pumps, star droppers, gates and generators. A huge range of backhoe tools, PVC fittings and poly pipe to hay. Be sure to come in and see the team at Dacia Irrigation and fodder for the right advice and the best price. Find us at 41 Mills Road, South Alban on 8536442 or 151 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge on 8532271. Do you need your driveway exposed with some awesome squares? Time to call a team from Carstairs. From shared floors, driveways or your footpath, call the guys at Carstairs Concrete Services. They've got the staff. Brighten that entertaining area with some colour. Call Carstairs. There is no other. From foundations to a fence post, no job is too big or too small. It's time to give the professionals Carstairs a call. Phone 0401 009 886. Carstairs Concrete Services. Our guarantee is setting concrete. No one knows your land or business quite like you. And at Nutrient Ag Solutions, we're committed to seeing you reach your potential. With more than 150 years of experience in Australian agriculture, unrivaled local knowledge and the ability to leverage our global reach, Nutrient Ag Solutions can deliver enhanced productivity to your farm gate. Together, we can feed the future. Simply Shutters and Shades, the simple choice when it comes to blinds, curtains, shutters and shades. With over 15 years experience, we know our stuff and we know how to help you. Zip track and zip screen, roller shutters or plantation shutters, or maybe you prefer curtains. Whatever you need, we can help make it simple and easy for you. Call Simply Shutters and Shades today. Book your free design consultation and let the team transform your vision into reality. Simply Shutters and Shades, 0413 688 486 and remember to ask for the MFL TV discount. 
The Commercial Hotel, 27 High Street, Strathalban. Great location, beautiful big meals, fast friendly service. Pop in for a coldie at the Commercial. The Commercial has the only drive through bottle shop in Strathalban and we do takeaway meals too. Check our menu on our Facebook page. Dining bookings, phone 0885 362 021. Proudly supporting local sport. G'day, I'm Adrian Pedrick, your local state member for Hammond. Also privileged to be the Shadow Minister for Veterans Affairs, Emergency Services and Regional Roads. So pleased to be part of the Great Southern Football League sponsorship. We've got a magnificent area through Langhorne Creek at Strathalbyn as part of my electorate and making sure that we get right outcomes for people so that we can get better education services, better health services. We do justice to the peace service in the office at Murray Bridge or we can come to you. Whatever needs you have, uh, we can assist and uh, get those state needs officiated with. Is your home your office or your schoolyard? Your gym? Is your home your local, your party venue, your studio or your headquarters? Change your home to suit your life miss your chance. Find your local real estate office. If you're looking for a reliable concrete supply, one who employs locals and puts locals first, Sprycrete is the team you need to call. Sprycrete provide quality products with fast, friendly, reliable service. Sprycrete have mini mixers and large concrete trucks for any type of job, no matter the room you have on site. There is no job too big or too small. Sprycrete, your local concrete supplier in the Murraylands. Give them a call 0459 944 Six. Sticky, Sticky Mo, Sticky Mojo. Ashley and Philippa at Sticky Mojo, your local sign experts in all types of signage, vehicle wraps and paint protector film. Get your business the sticky treatment with business cards and flyers. Sign up with Team Mojo. A-frames, banners, core flutes, shop fronts, illuminated in 3D, magnetics and vehicle signage. They offer full artwork and design service. They have your sporting club covered too with sponsor signs and honour boards. If you want the complete Mojo, 7B Chris Collins Court phone 8548923 check out their Facebook at Hoosian with Attitude that's a wrap Hi, this is Jimmy. As a family, we own Cool Tours. Come and join us as we show you country. Don't wait. Go to cooltours.com.au now and book an experience. Don't just have a tour, have a cool tour. There is only one way to get your team top of the ladder. Bridge Aluminium. Manufacturing under the brand All Weld. Making platform ladders, orchid tripod ladders, tradie ladders and mezzanine ladders. They also manufacture vehicle canopies, ute trays, toolboxes and perform truck fit-outs. Aluminium material sales. Their range is the best. Drop in to 225 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Email sales at bridgealuminium.com.au or phone 8532 5884. Bridge Aluminium. When it comes to ladders, they're the top team. It's time to relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. That's the feeling you get from the Soul Deep Massage Clinic, specializing in relaxation, remedial massage, trigger point therapy, and reflexology. With on the spot health fund rebates available. Phone 85310499. Refresh your mind, body, and soul with the Soul Deep Massage Clinic. 74 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas, no job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial, from plans, footings to shed instalment, he can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray land and out in the Mallee, from farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, colour sheds, cyclone rated sheds, with over 15 years experience, call Wayne today for a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417 852 032. Builders licence 243 895. There's only one thing better than a footy win, that's sitting back relaxing with a Florio gin. Small batch handcrafted gins using a combination of botanicals, just like my favourite, the Florio Sunset. Nothing beats it. Check out the new Florio Gin Distillery and Cellar Door at 464 Fork Tree Road, Maiponga. How about your own gin with a personalised label for your special event or even a grand final win? Grab 
flavor Flurio Gin 3-pack or the popular vanilla vodka. That'll keep you coming back. You can click and save at fluriogin.com.au, distillery right to your door. Or call Shane, 0400 254 933. Flurio Gin, seriously good gin. If it's time to add a little magic to your flooring and windows, our online catalogue is full of great ideas at great prices. There's magic in a Solomon's floor. Yes, great. And there's magic in a Solomon's store. If it's time to add a little magic to your windows, our Sultan's range of custom-made blinds, shutters, curtains and outdoor screens means there's something for every home. And that's why... There's magic in a Solomon's store. Thinking Insurance, an MGA Insurance Group broker, can save you time, money and stress. Whether it's business, farm, crop, professional or private insurance, MGA provides advice and assistance to make sure you're properly protected. And when claims arise, MGA works for you to ensure that you get your full entitlement. Your local MGA Insurance Group broker is a specialist in insurance and risk management. Give them a call today and put MGA to work for you. Contact John, MGA Flurio, 0439 886 Double three one. Not every business gets to be part of a life-changing moment every day. What we get to do is pretty special and we never want to take that for granted. We're incredibly proud to help more Australians sell their home than any other real estate group. We're even prouder of what we're able to help you with. Special moments just like this. Proudly Australian. Proudly family owned. Proudly Ray White. What? Rightio, welcome to the Bridge Hotel Player of the Game. Um, a fantastic effort here. Uh, first game back at the club for 12 months. Lockie Byrne Matthews, how'd you find it there, mate? Yeah, that was a tough hit out from um, round one. Um, it was a slog. They've definitely improved my ponga. Um, and it was just a gut hit out. Um, just trying to find out what happened with the score. <laughs> that was a bit of a funny one. But no, nah, we've, we've just got a few things to work on and hopefully um, get up next week. Yeah, nice, and it'll be no easy battle next week with Victor Harbour, who uh, come off a really good win today. They ran away with it pretty easily in the end. Yeah, right, eh? Um, yeah, they've definitely got a few ones in, and um, definitely have to look out for them. And uh, now we'll bring it to them next week. So, how'd you find the conditions out there? We we're watching all day, players cramping up from the last, probably from the third quarter onwards. I saw Matt Merritt nearly crawl over and nearly die. I thought someone shot him from a pine tree. <laughs> But he, uh, he looked in a world of pain yourself, mate. How did how, you get through the heat and the tough game? As I was getting rubbed downs half time, quarter time, I was cramping up as well. I, was, um, I saw everyone go down, and um, it's just that contested um, game we both play. And uh, yeah, that's what happens when two, t- two good teams come together. So, who, so you uh, played predominantly in the midfield and then went up forward. How did you find kicking a couple of really important goals there in the third quarter? Yeah, no, it's always good to get a couple goals on the board and just, you know, just snuck through and just uh, get down forward. <laughs> don't, don't be so modest, mate. We know you're one of the best yeah. out there. So, mate, congratulations yeah. on a uh, yeah. great hotel. Next time you're out at the creek, head to the Bridge Hotel, oh, grab yeah. yourself a slab of froths and uh, enjoy the day. And great, I thought it was a great win, but we'll find out yeah. in uh, over the next few days. Pretty controversial there at the end. No, thank you. Thanks to the Bridge Hotel. We'll get down there, have a feed. <laughs> Thank you very much and we'll see you next week. Well, down here at McLaren, that wraps it up. What a game. Round one, great southern footy. Doesn't get better than that. Well, it is a draw. Um, I think they're going to watch our footage back and just check with the scores and make sure it is correct. But it's just come down to the wire. Excellent game, round one. Grand final stuff. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage down here from McLaren. Next week we're at Strathalban and it should be another great day down there. So reminding you, no matter what sport you play, be a good sport. Good afternoon.